Hello and welcome to a new course with me. In this course you are going to learn how to build a complete forum with admin panel in PHP, MySQL, Bootstrap and PDO. So after you finish this course you should have a clear understanding of how web apps are created with modern technologies, how to combine the tools that I just mentioned to build something that's meaningful, uh, plus you are going to have fun along the way. Alright, so here's a little bit about me. I am Mohammed Hassan. I'm a web developer, freelancer, and an instructor. I have taught more than 30,000 people programming in the past year only, and I also have more than 350,000 people who are registered in my courses. Alright, so let's take a look at the finished version of our own web app after this short uh, break. Alright. All right, so we're back once again after this short uh, pause or break and here is simply the layout or the index page of our own uh, symbol forum. Um, all right, so we have a couple of pages right here for the login and we also have the register page right over here. All right, and we also, if we look down over here, we can have, we, we, we have a section right here for the categories and, you know, and the number of topics for every category right here. All right, and um, we have the form statistics, we have the total number of users, topics, and so on. All right, so yeah, this is what we have. If we simply go to the index page once again, we if we go to the topic right here, we can see that we have the topic right over here, and simply we can write our own um, reply uh, right over here. All right, and you know, if we log in, I already have some emails, you know. All right, if we try, we copy, you know, some credentials from the user's table. And if we try to log in, well, simply, there we go. We got our own username right here. We got the uh, public profile and any profile uh, pages. All right, we can simply now create a topic right here. Of course, with a nice little validation. So as you can see, one or more inputs are empty. All right, so yeah. It's, there is a lot of cool functionalities here and there so as you can see right over here and of course we have an admin panel for this whole thing to manage it if I simply go ahead to admin dash panel right now all right so we actually yeah I'm actually logged in uh, already so if I go ahead and log out and I can simply go ahead to the admins um, table and you can just grab an email right here or I can grab this one and I can try to log out all right so there we go we have some statistics right here for uh, the admin uh, you know for that for our own forum all right the number of topics categories admins and replies and right here we can simply manage creating the admins and showing them and right here also we have uh, some stuff for the categories we can also manage them manage them right here and there for the topics and also the replies all right so there is a lot of cool features here and there of course you might think that this project is really easy but it's actually not we're gonna be getting into some uh, tough and hard topics uh, and complex topics about ECQL and PHP and so on so you're gonna learn um, amazing and solid stuff in this course all right so this will actually be all I don't want to go ahead and make this video too long um, and I'm pretty excited already to go ahead and uh, build this project with you all right so if you like this course get it right now right and I will see you inside all right so in this video I'm going to teach you how to basically install exam an exam is just um, just a server run or, or just simply a program that will allow us to have a, a bunch of tools you know when we're working with uh, development especially back end development all right so we will basically uh, have a server which is the apache server um, which is simply just a local server and we will have um, my sql and a php program language and we will also have uh, php my admin which is just uh, a tool for managing 
uh, databases and we can also have a bunch of stuff like it also includes uh, the Perl programming language and if you're not familiar with it it's basically a programming language that's widely used for uh, programming uh, for um, networks stuff like that all right but you know this is not our uh, subject so what we need to do in this video we are going to go ahead and install exam so if we just go and type in exam right here we should see this link which is the apachefriends.org so if we click on this so now we will go to this page and it's telling us download right here so we can download this for different um for different operating systems so here we have windows and here we have exam uh, here we have linux and uh, this is uh, apple right here os so we click on this obviously i have windows so now it should a window should pop up right here and we can just download this right away all right so now we can just download it if i click on save i already downloaded uh, i already downloaded the program right here if i just click on save now it's starting to download i'm just gonna cancel this and i'm gonna go ahead right away and install it all right so after it after you download it just go ahead and click on it right here i saved it in my uh, desktop so if i click on yes all right so all right important because you uh, activated user account all right so if we simply click on ok and if we click on next so as you can see right here here are our own uh, components or the tools that we have uh, right here so right here i'm going to keep my sql so we already have the server uh, checked for us we cannot even like edit it or something and we here we have the apache server and here we have my sql files uh, i don't want this and this also and this so i'm gonna remove them I'm gonna keep Perl. If you don't want it, you can just uh, go ahead and uncheck it. Um, you know, as you can see right here, here is programming language, and we already have PHP checked for us. And here, uh, program uh, program language is also uh, here. I'm gonna and un uncheck this and uncheck this. I want PHP uh, my admin because it's a very uh, very handy tool for managing uh, databases. So if we click on next, we also click on next. The selected folder is not empty please select a different folder all right so if we if we go right here all right so i want to delete this because i tried to install it like before so if i go to my c you probably you're probably not going to do this because you did not install it before so if i just delete this if i go delete again all right so now if we just keep it for keep it right here at the c and it's going to create this folder right here and it's going to install install our program inside it so if we click on next now we can see the language is english now there is english and deutsch i'm going to keep it english and if we click next and also next now it's un it's installing this right here so here you can see it's it's generating uh this file right here and it's installing the files uh, inside right here which is in the c uh, partition all right so i'm gonna like i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna get back to you in a couple of minutes until uh, it finish all right so it's nearly finishing up and it's telling me that it's gonna access um gonna access the firewall uh, the firewall here so i'm gonna go and allow access for this in order for this installer or in order for this installer to finish up um all right so just let's wait a second all right so now it's over so it's still a means setup has finished installing exam on your computer do you want to start the control panel now and i'm gonna go ahead and uncheck this because if i left this checked and if i clicked on finish 
you know we will have to start exam every time we want every time we like you uh you close or you turn off your uh, your own computer in order to go ahead and actually and actually work with it all right but if we uncheck this and if we click on finish and if i go ahead now to my the partition right here and if i go to exam and if i go down here and if i go to the control panel and if i try to run this as an administrator you know exam will run automatically every time you turn on your own computer right so you don't want to uh, so you don't have to like start it uh, all over again right because this is just noisy you know all right so if we click on this click yes to install the apache server uh, the apache server yes and if we also click on this so this is also yes all right if we click on start and if we simply start this also all right so great we click on admin all right so this should start all of this all right if we click also on php my admin right here all right so here is basically they're both working which is just awesome all right if we go hd docs right here all right so if we simply go localhost and if we go index.php all right so it's still going to the same uh page all right which is this right here so yeah they're working well, now everything looks everything looks great so this will be it and i'll see you in the next video So in this one, I'm going to show you how to install the Visual Studio Code, which is the text editor that we are going to be using. And probably if you're watching this, maybe like 99% of you guys have already like um, set up this uh, this program. Okay, and if you did, just leave, um, just follow along, you know, you can skip this video, whatever you like. So basically i have it down here but if you wanna i already have already installed it but if you look up down here visual studio code we go over here click on this link you can click on download for windows now it's gonna like show you how to download it gives you like um a visual studio code so if you click on save it's actually going to be downloaded so i actually downloaded it so i'm going to cancel it and i have it over here on my uh, desktop and you're gonna click i accept this agreement next and i'm not gonna add it uh, to the path so i'm gonna go ahead if you want to create like a desktop icon or anything it's basically like a symbol program like any other program that you set up and now if i click on install I'm going to be like installing installing this like visual studio code and if you go up if you go up over here you can uh, after you install it you can look it up and it will show up right here and you can open uh, the visual studio you can start coding with me and of course if you have like a php store if you have like sublime like i have one over here if you have text plus plus it's all fine it will all of them will do the trick i don't want to like click install because i've already had my uh, visual studio code right here it will override this one that i already have and i have like i have, I have a lot of settings and extensions so i don't i don't want to like to set up all of that again so i'm just going to cancel but you will click on install and it will install it right away for you so yeah i hope this i will be like this one this one is so simple and as I said, every uh, text editor will do the trick. So thanks for this one and see you. All right. So this is a very simple video to show you um, our theme right over uh, here. Uh, all right. So this what, you know, what the design or the theme of our project looks like. Uh, so we will have an index page right here with this section. We will display 
a couple of posts or topics that we have inside our own form um with of course you know some information about the post and we will have we will display also the number of um the number of comments right over here or the number of replies for every post and on the side right here we will display uh, we will display the categories you know and every and and the number of every and each uh, category uh that we have right here or the number of topics inside every category and we will have a form statics like the number of users topics categories and all of that stuff um and you will have a couple of pages we will have a register page and you also we will have a login page if i go right here and write in login.html so here is actually a login page all right and we also have um we will have a, a create topic page right here where users can go ahead and create uh, their own topics with this little um text area right here this little text editor all right so yeah this should be a really cool project if you're starting out with php and mysql and you don't know you know where to go if you learn those if you learn both technologies and you don't know what to do with them so yeah this is going to be pretty uh pretty cool all right and don't just think that you know this is all we will actually do a lot of functionality and a lot of you know a lot of complex stuff you might think you know that this is not uh, a great project or anything like that yeah i know it's pretty simple you know but underneath um there's going to be a lot of complex functionality especially with my sql and so on all right so just look up the resources file or the resources section for this video you know and you'll actually find um you'll find uh, the code for this uh, for this design so you can start along with me all right so this will be all and i'll see you in the next video all right so now let's go ahead and start building our own project you know and this will officially be the first video of building it so just go ahead and copy the code that I give you and go to your C partition, go to exam and then htdocs uh, right here and just copy uh, and sorry, just paste your own code or your own files. All right, so I already did this. So here we go. Uh, go ahead and open this with VS Code or any text editor that you like. All right, and now let's go ahead and start creating our own config file. So if you're not familiar, if you not create any you know project with php and mysql or any backend project you know the config file is basically the file that's going to allow you to you know manage your own queries create your own uh, connections to the, your database and so on this is one of the most important files that you're going to deal with when creating your own backend projects you know whether it's in a native you know in, in your native language like php uh, ruby and so on or even in a framework like laravel um code igniter symphony uh django and so on all right so let's go ahead and build the uh, and build this file or create this file so i want to go ahead first and create a folder config right here um and i want to create the file inside it so this is going to be config.php all right so let's go ahead and start building start you know and get going with this file right here so we need four things in order to go ahead and create your own connection to your to our own database all right the first thing that we need to do is the host or that we need to or that we need to get is the host so i want to go ahead and you know write this as defined right here i'm not going to create them actually as variables because the define right here uh, means you know uh, or, or the constant right here with define uh, it's going to allow us to create this uh, stuff you know or variables that are that are not changeable all right so the host the password for your own database the name of your own database is not going to be changeable right here so we better use constants all right in php all right so where we go here is actually the host all right and the value for the host right here this is the name of the constant and this is going to be the value all right so the value for the host it's going to be most always almost always localhost right here after this we're gonna need the db name all right so you know define once again db name right here and the value for this we're gonna write uh form this is this is going to be the name of our own database all right after this we're gonna go ahead and grab the user for this database 
so again define and the user um it's going to be again root right here all right after this you know the password for our own database or for our own php my admin tool um it's going to be define as right here all right so i have no password this is why i left it like this as blank so if you have one just go ahead and write the password right here and after this we're going to go ahead and create um this connection variable right here or it's, or it's actually going to be an object because we are going to instantiate uh the pdo class inside peach bill this is you know this is the type of technology that we are going to use when dealing with you know with php uh, when dealing with databases all right so this will allow us you know to validate stuff manage stuff really quickly and more securely all right so we're gonna go ahead right over here and we're gonna grab these credentials uh, right over here but before we do this I want to specify the type of database that I'm using, which is MySQL, because PDO can actually provide us with, you know, quite a lot of databases, uh, types of databases, you know, uh, SQL Server, um, Boost Decrees, uh, SQL Lite, and so on. So I'm going to specify uh, my database right here, which is MySQL. After this, I'm going to write this column. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and type in host right here. It's going to equal and now i'm going to concatenate this since it's a dynamic value right here all right and after this i'm gonna write this you know this semicolon to end this statement after this we're gonna specify the db name so the db name basically we are going to specify the db name right here all right after this i'm gonna i'm gonna leave all of this right here i'm going to start a, a new statement now we're gonna also type in the user and the password right over here all right so this you know this is how you connect your database with video um, now every time we will go ahead and you know do a connection to our own database to grab data insert data update data, and so on we're going to go ahead and use the connection right here all right this is mandatory of course so i want to test if we actually made um, a, a successful connection to our own database or not now i'm gonna go ahead and do this right here so i'm gonna go uh if the connection is true right here we're gonna go ahead and echo out a simple message like um db connection is success all right else we're gonna go ahead and echo out error all right so yeah save all of this now let's go ahead just go ahead and open up your browser um i'm gonna go localhost slash um, forum which is the name of my project right over here after this i want to access the config folder and after this i want to i want to access the config dot uh, php right over here so as you can see we got this error message right here if you look down here it says unknown database forum uh, right over here at line 17 so it's not seeing this forum uh, database right over here you know and that totally makes sense because we did not create this database this database just yet so let's go ahead and type in php my admin right over here all right so actually what we need is localhost slash php my admin all right so you just go to this tool right here all right so you want to create a new database simply click on new right here and just paste the you know paste the word forum right over here and click on create all right so here we go now as you can see here is my database right over here if we refresh this so there we go it says now um DB connection is a success, which means that everything is working perfectly. All right, so if I go ahead and comment this for now, let's actually go ahead. You know, uh, I want to validate um, the the connection to our uh, to our own database. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a line right here. So the line I want to go PHP PDO 
um, error handling right here. All right, so if we click on this link, errors and error handling uh, right over here, if we go down, we can grab this line right here. So this line will allow us to simply set an error mode. You know, this will actually uh, throw an exception uh, or a nice little message if we have something uh, messed up with our own database connection. All right, so I want to paste this in. Of course, I want to grab this object and paste it right here because this is our own object, you know. Yeah, something else that we can do is simply, um, let's see, try and catch. All right, so we can simply grab the try and catch. Um, yeah, we can grab it from here. All right, so let's go down. All right, so there we go. We can simply grab this and paste it up there. All right, we can close this block like this and we can grab the catch block, the first part right here and paste this in. And we can also close this like that. So we can copy this line right here. All right, throw new. Um, blah 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 now we're not gonna take this i guess we're gonna like write this myself so i'm gonna go echo e right here for even exception right here um get message all right i know that you're confused and you're seeing what what you know what's this guy's writing right over here or what is he doing so the try and catch block will basically uh, validate for our own code so when you know when this page is going to load well first of all it's going to go right here and you know uh, at the try block right here and it's going to execute this code right over here you know it's going to execute all of this you know if it worked you know that's fine but you know if something is wrong right here it's going to execute this catch block uh, right here all right so the catch block we have a pdo exception right over here which is also a class and we're taking this object from inside it which is the exception you know and after this if something is wrong right here we're going to echo out this get message uh, method right here which is going to give us a nice little message you know about what's gonna about what's going on and uh, about what's going wrong or what's wrong uh, inside this block right here all right so this is what you know what all of this is about all right so i hope that you're getting what i'm saying right here it's not it's not that hard so let me save all of this let me go back once again and refresh all right so you know everything is cool you know if we simply um we try to miss up the you know the name of our own database let's add you know add these r's right here let's save and refresh all right so as you can see we got you know a nice cool little message you can see you know that you know that this message is a lot better than the other one so it says right here unknown database form uh form rrr so of course this is unknown if we save uh, if we get back with Control z and save this whole thing and if we go back and refresh all right so as you can see it's looking great you know everything is perfect you know since it's not triggering any errors so this will be all and I will see you on the next video. All right, so in the last video, we went ahead and we created a config file, you know, and it's all cool. Uh, we, you know, we connected to our database through this file and it's all fine. Uh, and now we want to go ahead and create a header and a footer file. So why we need to go ahead and create uh, those. If you go, you know, the answer, if you go to the index page right now, which is index.html, you're gonna see that we're gonna have a header right here, you know, and that's gonna be fixed at the top always, and we will have two sections right here uh, on the side. So those uh, three will be included at every page that we have. And of course, if you look at these files right here, you're gonna find, uh, you know, the codes for these at every file that we got right over here. So why would we go ahead and leave those uh, down here since we can just, uh, you know, cut them and paste them in two files and we can include this or require it on every file that we have 
all right so this should save us a lot of time and a lot of energy and of course we're gonna we're gonna work with sessions later on so uh, this will also uh, help us a lot uh, along uh, the way all right so if we go right here and just create an includes folder and if we go um and create a header dot php all right here so i want to go to the index and i want to go ahead you know and cut the part um for the header so we will start from here all right from this div at the top so cut this and go ahead and paste it in so save all right so go right here and just try to include this and since now we need to go ahead first and turn this to php all right so now we can require this so we can go require all right so we will go to includes first which is the folder and then we will go header.php all right so call save now let's go ahead and create another file which is footer.php so let's rename this all right so i want to also go to the index we can close this now so i want to go at the bottom of the index and we will start um from this part right here because you know this is the section for the categories and this is the section for the statics the, the forum aesthetics right here so the, those we will need uh both of those all right so if we go and grab those right here so cut paste right here save and close and now we can simply go right here and go php require um includes slash order dot php and save all of this so let's now go and refresh the index and let's see if something is wrong uh, or not or you know the design is messed up or not so let's refresh this so as you see as you're seeing right here you know nothing nothing has been changing you know it's uh, it's all the same everything is fine all right so this will be all you know um and in the next video we're gonna go ahead and uh, start building our authentication system all right so now it's time to go ahead and create the register page all right and it's pretty simple think of the register page as just you know a way of creating uh something you know it's just a form you know that's all um you know we're gonna add a couple of stuff of course uh, here and there but you know overall it's just a simple form and you're gonna insert data uh in the database and that's all all right so if we go right here we're gonna see that we have here is actually our register page so i want to create a folder and i want to name it auth right here and i want to go ahead grab uh, you know grab this and just place it inside the auth folder all right so there we go we want to now go ahead all right not delete sorry about that we're gonna go ahead and just um change the name to register.php so if we go to it now we can do the same you know um, just placing requiring the header and the footer at every page that we have right over here so we can make this whole project dynamic so we can go right here php require you know we're gonna go a step back actually with the directory um using these two dots and the slash and then we're gonna now we are in the root folder uh, of our own project so we can go ahead um, and type in includes slash header dot php all right so we're gonna do the same for um we're gonna do the same for the footer so remove all of this we can go down here um yeah we can start deleting from here if we go php require includes slash order dot php yeah we save all of this let's now go ahead to auth slash register dot php let's see what's gonna happen 
all right so right over here you know the design is messed up all right so if we go to inspect right here all right so if we go to console you know bootstrap and bootstrap and custom all right so it's basically it's basically telling us you know uh, status of 404 that means that it's not seeing these files right here all right so these files are include uh, like are being included from uh, from this right here or from these files right over here which is um yeah the css and so on the css yeah it's simply just the css and the javascript right here these are just the bootstrap files so i want to go to the header right over here um yeah if we look right here here are the files that are being included so the reason it's not grabbing them the right way um you know because uh, they're being included inside the folder right here which is the includes folder all right if we grab those two the footer and the header and place them into um into the root folder they will actually grab them the right way all right uh, but since they are now in a folder they're not going to be grabbed the right way so all that we need to do is just go ahead and actually set up a main directory so or a main path so we can grab those uh, the right way all right so if we go right here and go just php i'm gonna create a constant uh for the pass uh so i want to go define right here and i want to go app url and i want to go when i go ahead and grab the link right here all right so there we go so let's actually go ahead now copy this and go at the bootstrap and simply go ahead php echo app url and go slash slash uh, slash bootstrap slash bootstrap dot css now it should grab this let's copy this one more time and just paste it right here all right so save both of those and go to the footer um all right so we also have the script right here which is gonna go to the javascript uh folder which is right here and it's gonna grab the bootstrap.js so if we paste this in and save all right so if we now refresh all right so there we go now it's grabbing all the files uh, right here the right way the bootstrap uh files uh, javascript and css and so on and it's all good all right so now we want to go ahead and actually uh, start uh, creating or writing our own backend code um so just close the header and the footer and let's now go ahead under this so let's go php right over here all right that will, so what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna check you know when the user clicks on this register button right here um this is where the functionality uh, begins all right so we want to if we if he clicks on this we want to go ahead and check first if he if he left any one of those uh empty if he left any one of those inputs right over here empty or not all right so if we go right over here and we're gonna go f empty right here post so if he left um yeah of course the the name the email and the username and the password and the confirm password and so on so if we go at the bottom right here we can grab those names um from here so here is actually the name so there is name um empty and we're gonna use or not and if we also grab this after this after the name what we have we have the email right here so copy this and paste it right here so once again we're gonna copy this all right so after the email right here we got the username all right so after the username let's copy this paste it right here um there is the password all right so after the password um so there is actually enter password again all right so we're not gonna need this this part right here we're gonna remove it 
all right and we're not gonna do the part for the avatar you know we're not gonna we're not gonna validate it all right the image all right so here is about me so if we go right here so there is the name about all right so there we go um so after this we're gonna go if any one of those are empty right here we are use this method in php you know where and we are gonna grab the data of course with the post uh, so we're global right here we're gonna grab it from these all of these inputs are here if any one of those now are empty we're gonna go ahead and display a simple message right here um i'm gonna use you know javascript uh javascript alert so i want to go alert right here one or more inputs are empty all right so I want to go ahead and close this all right so this message will be executed if any one of those are empty you know else if none of those are empty we're going to go ahead and actually well before all of this we want to go ahead and check you know if the user is clicking the button or not if he is clicking this register button or not you know so we want to go at the top and go as set um post uh, submit right here the name for the button is basically submit all right so we want to grab all of those and paste them right here all right so again if none of those are empty we're going to go ahead now um, and grab the data that the user give us and we're going to like put it inside variables all right so name right here it's going we're going to grab uh, the data with the post sober global from the input name and let's copy this like five times paste five times so we're gonna do the same for the email of course and for the username and for the password all right and for the about all right so save all of this i want to actually refresh just to see what's going on right here so one two three four five and six all right um all right so yeah they're fine you know the only thing that we're not uh grabbing right here is basically the avatar or the image so i want to copy this and post it right over here and i want to go down and see what's the name for for the input image now which is right here all right so the name is basically avatar all right so i want to post this right here and post this right here and of course to grab the name for the image you know we should not use the post sober global we should use the files sober global and we're going to provide the name and right here we need to go ahead and do um we're going to write the word name right here all right so after this i want to go ahead and you know do the dire for the image or the directory for the image all right because we're gonna use this later we're not just gonna insert some uh, v some value inside our own database for the image no we need to go ahead actually and grab the image and place it in this file right here all right uh just like we have just like this one right over here all right so for the directory i want to go ahead and specify the directory so it will be actually the image which is right here the the folder image right here and i'm gonna go ahead and concatenate this with the base um name right here all right so for the base name we're basically gonna grab the name right here all right the value or the name for the image all right so after this we want to go ahead and insert now so it's time to go ahead and grab our own query so connection right here um i want to go ahead and write prepare which will allow us to simply set up some handlers uh, that we're gonna that we're gonna use later to actually go ahead um, and insert the, our own data in a clean way, in a more clean and secure way. And I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how this work. Uh, how this works. All right. So we wanna go right here. It's a simple query. So we're gonna go insert into users which is the table that we did not create yet you know we're gonna go ahead now and set up these names right here so this will be name 
this will be email and the username and the password right here and the about and the avatar right over here all right so we're gonna go now for the values of course these right here are the name uh, for other names for the columns all right so for this we're gonna write the values which are the values that we need to grab so as i said we're gonna set up some handlers and this is how you set up your own handlers right here so one for the name one for the email one for the username one for the password and one for the about and one for the avatar right over here all right so this will be all for the query after this we're going to go ahead and insert and we're going to go execute right over here so what we need to do is we need inside the execute we're going to set up as some kind of array because now we need to grab um every one of those handlers right here and we need to attach it to its value which is the value right here which is the variable all right so we're gonna go ahead and paste this in so we're gonna copy this and paste a couple more times so this will be email and you know it will be attached to email and this is and this handler is for the username and this one is for the password of course it's right here for the password and this is this one for the avatar and this is of course uh, the avatar right here all right so this is now also done all right and right over here we can simply go and after we finish this up you now after we finish the registration up we can go ahead and just go to another page so i'm going to use the location right here the header function i'm going to go to location which is login.php all right so we should grab this login right here and put it in inside the, uh, the authentication folder all right so move so if we simply rename this php all right so it's all fine uh something that we forgot um and that is uh, there's something that we forgot and that is actually hashing our own database all right so i want to go right over here and i want to use the hash uh underscore password uh method right here and this method will allow us to simply hash our own uh, database uh, uh, sorry hash our own password so we want to go and hash the password because we don't want the admins when the you know when they open up um you know the table for the users uh, and they can see uh, the, the raw passwords all right this is not secure at all so you should hash your own passwords i know this is a big deal between php developers you know which which uh, which method to use you know to hash your own password and i would say that i like this one right here it's very simple easy and, and, and practical you know it's a lot more secure than the others i know that you guys might feel might fight me on this one but you know this is my personal preference um all right so for the hash password we need we need to set up two parameters inside it so one is basically um i would say uh, the password that's coming from the user right here or the data that's coming from the user and we're grabbing this with the post server global right here and um, the second parameter which is basically password uh, password default right over here all right so let's close uh, this whole thing up and now we're actually ready well we got we forgot one more thing and that is we need to like we need to grab the config file all right so we go right here config and config.php all right so yeah we also forgot you know validate the form to see what's going on with the form so if we look at the form we can see right here uh, we got this ink type right here and this property will allow us um basically uh, or this attributes allow it's gonna allow us to upload a file or you know with our own form so don't forget this and the method is post and the action is going to go to the same uh, page right here which is register.php all right uh this is where our own logic is um all right so after this we're going to go and set up the names so the names are set up well i would say 
for every input uh, right over here um all right so after this the name for the username which is right over here um and also the name for the password which is right here um all right so after this the upload avatar so the input type is file that's great and the name is avatar right here cool and after this already right, about me here we got a, a text area and the name is about so great and there is actually the input right here so the name i don't want to call it register i want to call it submit and the type is submit so great um yeah and this is this is all for the form the form is fine it's great all right so i would say that we need to manage this in a lot more in a better way you know can those you can do this if you want and you know if you don't want to do it that's also fine and you know all what we need to do just to just to go ahead and play with this is simply um all right you can do it off camera if you want but i'm gonna leave it this way all what we want to do you know next is simply creating our own table and you know this will work just fine all right and as you can see i forgot this this should be column not semicolon all right so save and we copy the users table and if we go to our own database which is right here just go ahead um and create a table all right so i want to keep this so it will be all right so we have five right here yeah and we are gonna need also two so i want to keep another two so i want to keep this so it will be seven all right so i want the first one to be the id right here um so and i want the id uh to be auto increment and i want it to be a primary key so it will actually be unique and for the auto increment so i, I want uh with every value that i'm creating or with every row that i'm creating you know this id will uh, will be incremented on its own uh, all right so after this i want the the name right here so this will be five um and this will be var car all right so 200 right here all right so after this i want the email and the length it's going to be 200 after the email it's going to be the username all right so this will be varkar and this will be 200 right here and after this the password all right so this will be varkar and it will also be 200 and the about right here and i want to keep this so it will be actually text and since we're setting this uh, the text you know where it's going to be a limited number of, uh, of characters uh, right here so i want to leave this as empty and after this the avatar um all right so this will be varkar and it will also be 200 you know and we need one more all right so only one more for created ad which is the date um when this record uh, or where the current uh, record is created so i want to keep this um as a var card sorry not var card this is a type of date so it will be timestamp and i want to keep the default uh, right here so it will be current timestamp so it will insert the current time when every record is created so if we go and click on save All right, so there we go. We got our own. We got our own table right now. So let's refresh this. Let's try to insert our first record. All right. So I wanna. I want the email to be basically. And I wanna copy this and paste. All right, so something was wrong, you know. 
with all of this so there is the name and here is the email here is the password uh username and the password and here is the symbol the avatar all right so i want to go to see right here and i want to go to exam just choose any um choose any image that you like so i want to go to our own project right here where is it all right so here is the form and i want to grab the image that we have right here so yeah we still we forgot about me so i want to go ahead just go ahead and copy any dummy text that you have you can go ahead and install this right here which is a corporate ipsum extension it will you know it will allow you or it will give you any you know some dummy text so just click and register right here so it looks like we got a problem all right call to undefined function hash password uh and line 16 all right so hash password password underscore hash all right so let me let me grab this and just paste in a line let's see if i'm grabbing the right yeah there we go it's actually password hash not hash password so if we save all of this let's now go ahead and refresh all right all right so invalid parameter number bound parameters number of bound tokens and line 30 all right so one two three four five all right so these are you know yeah we forgot something there is the name there is the email username password and avatar um so what did we forget we forgot the about so i want to go right here after the password and i want to fetch this right here all right so did we got did we get everything right i guess now we do not have any problems so save let's go ahead and refresh this right here let's go ahead and click on browse if we got something we do not get anything so let's try once again let's try it all right copy this whole thing paste it on the email and paste it on the username and the password you can type anything that you like i just you know like to grab everything right away um all right so let me copy this and, pay and click on register all right so since we went to the login.php right here which means you know that everything is looking cool and now we're inserting everything the right way all right and if we go right over here and click on browse all right so there we go now we got our own first secret so as you can see there is actually the password and now um it's being hashed it's been inserted as a hash right here and if you look at the created ad as you can see we got our own date right here and there is the name of our own uh, avatar or our, or our own image and if you look at the folder that we have right here we can see uh, that we have this image right here which is gravatar.png which is the image that we uploaded and yeah it was before we even upload the form we, we even upload this to the form or we even create anything you know but you know we actually uploaded it if you did another um if you go ahead and register for a new user you're gonna see now um the new image all right so if you follow along and you did and you don't you know you don't do any mistake Alright, so this will be all and I'll see you on the next video. Alright, so now in this video we're going to go ahead and start building our own login.php file. Alright, so we're right over here, login.php. So we need to make this, um, we need to make this dynamic. So we better go ahead from, you know, starting from nav-collapse right here, uh, this part. We want to go from, the you know, the bottom up to the top right here. Go ahead and remove copy and paste those right here so we also need to do the one for the header and we are going to start from this diff with a class called dash md dash four um and to the bottom we're going to go ahead and paste this whole thing in 
all right so this will be further you know logically and just save this whole thing now let's go ahead and refresh so as you can see it's all looking good it's all fine uh we can change the name to welcome all right we can simply go ahead and change this part right here um or change this word to login all right so this is a lot better so save this whole thing all right so now as you can see login so we want to go ahead now and start building this whole thing all right so as always we're gonna go ahead and check you know if the user uh typed something inside the inputs or not all right so because of course we want something to validate for you can just go ahead and click on this button and hit, and you know leave any one of those are empty and leave any one of those empty whether it's the email or the password so we can go to the register.php and we can simply um a copy starting from here copy this part right here so we can simply just paste this in all right so i want to close this part let's also do another curly braces for this if right here all right so we're only gonna validate for the email and for the password so we can remove this or right here we can remove this part and we can also remove this part for the name and we do not also need this part for the about all right so we basically have those two to validate for and if any one of those are empty we, you know this right here it's going to be triggered uh this alert right over here all right so after this if we get the data we're gonna go ahead and just uh, you know get the data we're gonna place it inside variables you know just like the last uh, the last video so the username right here uh sorry the email it's going to equal post right here um and this is going to be grabbed for from the email input so copy this paste one more time so copy the password and paste it right here all right so that's fine all right so the second thing that we uh, that we're going to do is just to write the query all right and our query will only validate for the email and you you will know why in a second all right so we want to go and type in the name of our own query and we're gonna go connection right here and we're gonna go query all right so we're gonna go select all from um users which is the user stable where email is equal to the email right over here all right so we're gonna validate as in we're gonna go and select all uh all the row or all the data from the user's table where the email is equal to the email that the user is entering all right so here is the query and here is simply the login so for this to work we're gonna go ahead and execute it now we need to execute the query to work that only makes sense and after this we're gonna go ahead and fetch you know this whole thing and again you will know why just in a second so there is the fetch login we're gonna fetch the data that we're gonna grab uh, from this query all right so this will be fetch just fetch only um not fetch all because we're only gonna grab one row at a time all right so one email in one input for every user so this right here should only return one row all right so fetch right here and inside the fetch uh method we're gonna write in uh we're gonna specify you know how we're gonna fetch this so whether it's an associative array or an object so i want to go and fetch this as an associative array all right so there we go so after this now you know after we got the email we need to validate whether it's the right email or not so to do this we're gonna go ahead and go f um login right here which is the name of the query and we're gonna write in raw count all right so what what am i what am i trying to write right over here all right let me just write this as raw count like this no 
So basically the row count method right here, it's gonna, you know, it's being performed on this query, right? This query right here. What it's gonna do, it's gonna return the number of affected rows that this query right here is affecting. And this query right here is affecting only one row, all right? So if this query right here returns a, a number, which is of course the number one, since, it, since it's only affecting one row, this right here, this row count right here, a method of this you know of this query it's gonna return the number one and that's only if this is the right email if the user is entering the right email if it's not you know if the user is entering is entering a wrong email then it will return zero All right and since we want to since we want to validate if the email is right or wrong now we're gonna go if this uh, this whole thing right here if the row count method of this query right here is bigger than zero that means that it's actually um, that this is the right email because again the row count will return a number based on this query right over here all right and it's going to return the number one and of course the number one if it returned one that that means it's the right email and one is of course greater than zero so that means that everything is right and the, you know the user is entering a, a valid email that we have inside our own uh inside our own user stable all right so if the email is right we're gonna go ahead and proceed uh with validating the password of course so for the for the password we're gonna go down once more and write an f inside this f and we're gonna go um password f no password right here password verify all right so second so if the password right all right so the password verify right over here it's going to take two uh, two parameters and the first parameter is basically um the password that the user is actually uh, giving uh, us all right and that is actually the fetch right over here and that is password right over here so since we fetched already now we can get the user uh, the password that the user is giving us actually all right and after this it's gonna take you know all right so string then there is the password huh and the string hash you know it's gonna take first the password this password right here so sorry about that so this is the password that the user is actually gonna give us all right so copy this and paste it right here and after this it's gonna take the hash that's coming from the database so again, since we fetched right here, you know, remember when I told you that we are doing a fetch for a reason. So since we fetched right here, we're going to get, uh, you know, the password that the user, uh, you know, that we're going to get the password that's inside the table already. So right over here, um, here we go. We're basically grabbing the password as an associative array since we fetched it as an associative array from this, uh, from this object right over here. All right, and we're basically matching it with the password that the user is giving us, which we are grabbing right here with the post sober global. Because of course, the user is not gonna go ahead uh, inside the input password right here and uh, write this, uh, write this hash. Uh, you know, this this thing right here, this big hash right here, is not gonna write something like this. He only knows his raw password, which contains like numbers and letters and so on so we need to go ahead and grab the numbers and letters and we need to go ahead and hash it you know using the password verify right over here we're gonna hash we're gonna hash this the user is gonna give us and we're gonna match it with the you know the pre-existing hash inside our own uh, table right here if that makes sense all right so i hope that you're not lost so uh, you know if this is right if this message right here returns true we're gonna go ahead and proceed to the next uh, uh to the next thing so for the next thing i only want to go ahead and you know grab this and paste it right here you know and this will this will simply echo out an alert and that is you know logged n all right just for now you know uh, we're gonna start the sessions and work our way through um uh, the authentication system and finish it in the next video but for now let's go ahead and just echo out this alert right over here and for this if i'm gonna go ahead and type in 
else i'm going to paste this right here um so if the password is wrong and i'm gonna go ahead and go um uh, email or password is wrong all right and you possibly and you're you're possibly asking you know uh, why don't you just write him that the password is wrong well i would say that you don't want to give your uh, users too much you know too much information when they go ahead and enter uh, the data to your um and uh, and you know place data inside your own inputs all right it's a lot more secure to just you know write something like this i know it's a bit confusing you know but you know, again you don't want to give them just too much information all right so i want to copy this part this part also and i want to add it to this f right or to this f right over here all right so let me just go ahead and paste uh this in so again if now the email is wrong now if the row count returns a zero that means that that means that the email is wrong so i want to go ahead and allow it to uh, you know to echo out this alert right over here email or password is wrong all right so yeah i would say you know that this is all for the login part uh, so i want to go for the form right over here so for the form all right the form role form all right no that's fine i want to leave this because we don't want it and the method is post um this right here should be login dot php all right so for you know for the inputs right over here um so the input type is email all right and the name is email call um and the next is the next thing right over here which is right let me just tweak this uh the next thing that we have is the input for the password uh so the type is par is password and the name is password call and um there is the submit button right here over here which is just a simple input and the name right over here is register i don't want to keep the name as register i want to change it to submit and the type is submit so yeah that's all fine that's all great all right so yeah just save all of this looks like we got an error i cannot recognize um f or mp password right here all right so unexpected token or um let me remove this and only one all right so you know there was an extra right here extra one right here just go ahead and remove it so yeah save all of this let's now go and refresh uh, let's simply grab the email that we got right here so paste this in and for the password also paste it in because you know for me the email and the password are the same so just go ahead um all right we will change this letter as login but let's click on it right now all right so alert uh, logged in right over here so that means that you know everything is cool all right so script this should be script all right and this is also script um all right possibly this is also script right here um yeah this is also script all right save all of this let's go down um and i want to change the value for the input as login save all of this you know we go we go also to register we copy it for we copied it from here so i want to go ahead and paste and just write the t right here um all right so yeah let's try and log in once more let's simply copy the email and again they're put they're basically the same just go paste uh, the email and the password if we click on login so as you can see logged in this is what i wanted uh, this is what i wanted uh, to get now or this is what i wanted it to show me uh just a simple alert like this not the text all right so yeah we got the email right and we got the password right and this is why it's you know returning this value logged in right now all right so this will be all again just register for a new user and try to log in with it once again and it will work just fine if you follow along uh in the right way 
So this will be all and I'll see you on the next video. All right, so in the last video we went ahead and we did the login and we managed uh, the login with uh, our pre-existing uh, email right here in the user stable. Um, so now what we want to go, what we want to do is to go ahead and actually create the session or start the session so we can carry the information for the user um, and you know we can validate a couple of things and we can redirect the user you know and this is the main part to the index page and we're going to show uh, a menu right over here with the username uh, on it using of course decisions and we're going to validate a couple of things uh, along the way all right so let's go ahead and start working with our own sessions so if you go to login.php and you're going to see uh, after we validate uh the password right over here we want to go right over here and delete this part and we want to set up our session variables so if you're not actually familiar with sessions well sessions are a way to carry information across multiple pages you know and the perfect scenario is right over here for using sessions is you want to go and grab uh the username or the name for you know for the user basically is it's basically the same and you want to place it um uh, right over here or you want to echo it out right over here at the top on a menu you know on anything you basically want to show the user his name and you're going to use him for his information inside your own website to validate a couple of things and to limit him from accessing some certain pages and so on all right so to create sessions well you type in the session you know the session server global and then right over here you type the name of your session so i want to call this so it will be actually username and i'm gonna grab uh the data from the fetch now because we already after the user uh after the user goes ahead and log in we're basically grabbing and fetching his own uh his own data using this right over here we're gonna fetch the whole data for the row as we did um in the query right over here so now we are going to be able to grab the username right over here i'm going to copy this multiple times i want to grab um also the user id right here so this should be just id and this right here i will dedicate it um to the email and this will be email all right and after uh after all of this i want to go ahead and you know after we grab uh, the sessions i want to go location and i want to go to index.php well since we are inside another folder we cannot access the index.php right here because because it's in the root so we want to concatenate uh this and since we have a constant for the root directory we can just type it right here all right and save all of this um so we did the session right here but we did not start it just yet so we need to start the session you know and uh, to start the session we need to start at the top of every page that we have all you know uh, or otherwise we will actually have a lot of problems all right so since we have data.php page at the top of our own uh, at the top of every page that we have or we will ever create actually uh, we should go ahead and uh, start the session in the header.php so if we go to includes and if we go to header right over here so we want to go at the top right here and go session underscore start all right so this is how you start the session so it's all good uh for now um all right so after we go ahead after we grab the session and we go to the index page i want to actually echo out uh the username right over here uh, again at uh the header or at the snap bar right over here so i want to go and grab a menu all right so if i go nav bar and i want to go bootstrap and i want i will go for bootstrap 3 and i know it's kind of old you know but we have to use it you know since this template right here is already built with it all right so if we go right over here the nav bar and i want this to be um three you know all right so if we go to components right over here um all right so what else let's go to nav bar right over here um all right so we want to grab this drop down menu right over here so we can echo out the username so if we go down right over here as you can see here is actually the drop down um the drop down menu so let's copy it right over here all right so let's copy all of this and let's go now we are at the header 
and i want to go right over here at this dev and i want to paste this whole thing in all right so i want to go um yeah i want to go at this drop down right over here and i want to echo out the user name so i want to go php echo session user name right here all right so here we go save all of this now let's go ahead and refresh let's try to log in so let's grab the email and let's paste this in paste it once again so if we click on login all right so there we go now we got our username which is right over here and it is actually uh, our own menu it's working perfectly all right so it's all it's all fine it's all great uh we want to go now and actually create um the logout page all right so this is a you know one of the main functions of every website i don't even i don't uh, you know don't want to even explain you know why we have it of course every user was logged in uh once in some point to log out all right so i want to go right over here and i will dedicate a link all right so we can remove both of those we might only need three uh so i want to dedicate the last link to log out um and this right here will be log out dot php all right all right so we want to you know before this we want to set up the right directory so we want to go app url slash uh user um let's say not user we want to go to us we will place it we will place it inside uh the us um folder which is right here all right so let's copy this now save all of this and let's go your know, file let's go right here all right so logout.php so we want to destroy the session right over here so before we destroy the session let's actually go ahead first and start the session all right so session underscore um start all right after this we want to go and session underscore unset and this will unset all the session variables that we have and after this we can go session underscore destroy all right then after we destroy the session we want to go ahead and uh, we want to go ahead to uh, the index page all right so i want to go right over here um and i can basically copy this whole thing and just paste it right here all right so before this i want to go location all right all right so this is all save all of this let's now um go ahead and refresh this all right so if we go right here as you can see here we have the logout so if we click a logout all right so now uh we we logged out from the page but as you can see we have this error right over here all right and that's because we do not have a session uh, with the username right over here because the session is already destroyed all right you know here we go here is actually our own error inside you know it, here is where the error comes from because now the session is destroyed it doesn't know uh the username right now all right so we want to validate this for this whole thing well basically um when we go ahead and log in i don't want to show the register uh the register uh, link right over here or any or even a login link all right this is where when logged in we're gonna show the create topic right here and when we were and when we're logged out i want to show uh, the register link and the login link all right and of course i'm not going to show the menu when we're logged out because the user doesn't even have any session you know so we're not going to echo out the username right or or we will have this error right over here all right so i hope that you're understanding so we will still work with the header dot uh, php right over here um all right so let's try to validate this whole thing so if we go right over here and if we go php f is set session right over here so we want to say if if we have the session for the username or actually any um any session you know user id um 
email anything like that but i'm gonna use the username right here that's fine so if the session is set that means that we're actually logged in because now the user have a session inside our own website so we want to go ahead and cut this right here and we want to place it just down all right um so if we already have a session we're gonna go ahead we'll actually we are gonna keep this out of the equation right over here because we're gonna show the home link whether we're whether we are logged in or not all right so again if we have a session we're gonna show this link which is to create topic link and we are gonna show uh, the menu for the user where we echo out the username all right but if we don't have a session right over here else we're gonna go ahead and show this register page and we're also gonna show a login page all right for the user to go ahead and register or log in um all right so there is the there is the login all right so that's fine and we need to go ahead and end f this whole thing all right so sounds great all right so i want to actually change this so it will be php well actually let's copy this and paste it right here so we're gonna go to auth slash register register um let's copy this one more time and paste it right here and this will go to login dot php all right i'm just fixing the links uh, here and there all right so save this whole thing one more time let's go and refresh now this error should disappear and as you can see since we're logged out we can see the home the register and the login pages right now all right so they're going to the right uh, links right over here all right so i want to go ahead and log in once more and i want to see if those two are disappeared or not all right if we are logged in those two should disappear and we should have a link and a create topic uh we should have a create topic link and the menu where we show the username all right so let's go ahead copy this and let's go log in so if we click a login so as you can see as i told you we got the create topic right here and we got uh, the username right here for the user and of course we can log out just once more all right so i'm gonna fix this link for the home um so if i go right here copy this so there's basically the index all right great so this is also gonna go to the index page all right awesome so save all of this all right so it's all callful now so as i told you we are, when we are logged in we don't want to show the login and the and the register uh, pages all right and we did not show them right over here but what if the user tries to go ahead and access them from here will he will he able to do this will he be able to do this if we just click as you can see we're still going to the login.php page which is just messed up this shouldn't happen all right um when the user is logged in he should only go to these pages right here home create topic you know and the user and so on he can only show this and not go to the login or to, or to the register pages so we want to validate even inside the pages uh, themselves the login and the register pages so let's go to the login right over here i'll go to the top and write in f you know s set um session right here user name all right so we're saying if the session is set if we have a session you know just go ahead right away at the user to um add the user back to actually um the app url directory which is the home page all right so save this copy this and we we want it also to be in the register pages so we want it to be at the top right here all right save this whole thing let's now go ahead and refresh and basically the magic will happen so if we try now to access the register page we go to us uh, right here all right so this is the login page 
if we try to go um to the register page which is right here all right so as you can see we're going back to the index page once again as we see it right here all right so yeah this validation was pretty cool you know i hope it taught you a lot if you're already uh you know at the beginning of your web development journey all right so this will be all and i will show you i will i will see you in the next video all right so in the last video we went ahead and we finished the authentication system with the validating and all of that now it's time to move to another task and that is the create topic page right here we click on it we're gonna go to this page right here which is still an html page you know that will allow us to simply create a topic um all right so this is this is going to be pretty simple and pretty uh, similar to the registration page all right so if we go to this right here so create.html all right so i might go ahead actually and uh, create topics topics folder and i want to move this inside this right here all right so there we go um i want to close those right here um all right so we will start making this dynamic you know we can still go to us and we can still go to register right here all right so we can copy this whole thing and paste it right here of course we need like to change this php all right so there we go so if we copy this and go at the bottom um all right so we can simply remove this whole thing paste it paste this in um all right so we can go folder dot php all right so let's now go ahead and refresh this uh, all right so this still goes uh to html so if we go to includes we go to header and if we copy this whole thing um we want to go to the create page uh right here all right so there we go we can paste this in we want to go to slash topics slash create dot php so save this whole thing let's now refresh let's click on this so as you can see we're going to topics slash create dot php which is great um so yeah everything is being pulled up dynamically we can see that we have our own menu and you know it's all fine um all right so if we go once again to register.php we want to go ahead and grab all of the logic and we want to go right here and paste it in and of course we're going to edit it and see uh what's going on so this part this part right here is for the session so we want to actually go ahead you know um we want to go ahead and reverse this so we want to see if the session is not set uh, just take the user to the home page once again because the user cannot access uh, this page right here uh, if he's actually logged out all right i'm gonna show you well, you know what's going on uh but after you know i'm sure i'm gonna show you um uh, what's going on with this right here with this session you know but after we go ahead and actually uh, play with the form submission right here all right so now for the now for the part with the form submission so we're saying if it said post submit so basically if the user that means that if the user clicks on this button right here with the name submit uh we're gonna go ahead and perform the next so again we're gonna check if those uh, if the inputs are empty or not and this is the basic form of validation you know uh right here that we have so we're gonna validate for three things the title um that category and uh the topic uh body all right so is this right here for the title um category and this right here is for the body all right so great if any one of those are empty we're gonna go ahead and uh simply um trigger this alert all right so great and after this if it's not we're gonna go and grab this right here so this will be title all right so and also this this will be category all right and this will be body right here all right so we're not gonna do anything with an image so we better remove this so this will also be inserted into topics right here 
uh, the name title and name title and body right here and we want to also insert um, uh, the user name um, or we're going to insert the name of the user huh let's actually call this user underscore name all right so that's fine um so we actually need to go right over here and we're gonna grab this from the session so i want to name this so it will be user underscore name all right so since we have the session of the user we better go down here and go user name um we might just keep it as name um let's see if we go to login all right so we're basically grabbing um let's see we copy this one more time all right so here we go we're gonna grab the name of the user with this session right here all right so here we go we got it right here so after this after we did the columns we want to all right so we want to remove those we only have four right here all right so for the values right here we want to go ahead and grab after the name when i grab the title the body the user the username all right so these are basically the handlers um all right so after this we're gonna go ahead and you know execute so this will be title and after this we're gonna insert the body and after this we're gonna go ahead and grab the user name so remove both of those and after this after we insert we're gonna go ahead we're gonna head back um to the index page so i want to go ahead and concatenate this um the app url all right so this is all you know let's go at the bottom and the form right here and if we go to the form we need to add the method it's going to be post um and you know something else that we need which is the action you know and this will actually go uh, to the same page which is create.php all right so the input type is text and the name is title right here and you know we should go at the category and we should go right here and set up a name and that name will be category right here all right and for the options we want to set a value for a for every option because this you know it's gonna grab um the name is gonna grab uh, gonna grab the value from the value right here it's not gonna grab it from the html so this will be design all right so all right this will be development all right and after this this will actually be business and marketing all right and this will be search engines and this will be cloud and hosting all right so great um and after this we have topic body so let's look for the name and the name is body right here which is awesome so and for the button type is submit and we're gonna also keep the name so it will be submit all right so i guess it you know that everything right here looks cool now all what we need to do is just go ahead and create this table so let's go ahead and click on new all right so if we paste this in so we will probably uh we have four right here so we will need so more so this will be id as always and it will be auto increment I guess we will keep it as five you can keep it for 10 but you know for now i'm gonna keep it as five um so we want to grab the title and this will be varkar 200 um this will be the category 
I will give it var car also 200. All right, so after this, we're gonna grab the body. This also is you now for the body, I want to keep it as text and I'm gonna leave this at nothing so it will know that the text actually is gonna grab an unlimited number of characters. All right, so after this, now we have the username which we are grabbing from the session. Um, so this will be varkar also 200 and this will be created underscore at all right so great this will be timestamp and will be current timestamp for the default value all right so after this let's actually click on save all right so there we go now we got our own table structure so let's refresh this whole thing let's now write the first topic so we're gonna go topic number one so the category all right we're gonna leave it as design and for the body we're gonna go ahead and grab this part right here and if we click on submit all right so undefined rek name right here all right on line 19 we probably need to log out all right so let's go back i want to just go back so we can actually uh go with the session once again because it's not grabbing uh the name from the session right over here because we created it after we logged in so we need to log out and log in once more so it can grab uh, the name for uh for the user right here all right if we click on users right here we're gonna see that we have this the name right here for the user this is what we need to grab um all right if you want to grab the username you know that's fine but i'm just gonna grab the name right here all right so let's go ahead once again and grab the email uh if we click a login all right so if we click a lot so all right so once again we are at the index we got our credentials here if we click on create topic you know so this will be um post number one so i'm gonna keep the category as design that's fine so let me grab something for the topic if we click on submit so undefined variable name on line 28 all right so if we go to line 28 and let's see what we got not here here so there we go 28 name is right here all right so title category oh we forgot yeah if we take this just paste it down here and this should simply be the category all right so all right so let's click on browse for the topics you know we still did not get anything so let's go once again post number one again i'm gonna keep the category all right so copy click on submit all right so we still have an error the invalid number parameter was not defined in line 31 so there is title category body and user name name title body user name hmm. we also did it right here so this this is the category right over here. So let's remove this. All right, so there is category right over here. All right, so if we also go right here and go category. All right, so this is the name. Um, this is the name of the column. All right, so I would say, you know, 
that we finished this off so now hopefully it works the second uh the next time so if we click on continue all right so going back to the index page i would say if we click on browse all right so there we go we got our first record here is the body here is the category and here is the title and here is simply the username all right so it's all good let's try and create another one um so post number two all right so for the design i'm gonna for the category i'm gonna keep it as development let me grab this whole text and let's click on submit all right so here we go we're back to the index page you know as we made it right here so that means it's actually working so if we click on browse so there we go we got our second record which is just amazing all right so i would say you know that this is all for this video maybe i will go at the bottom and i will change this not to submit i want to change it as create all right so save click on this so as you can see create right here uh, let's act if we actually try to click on it let's see what's gonna happen so as you can see one or more inputs are empty because we forgot how to enter or we did not enter any data inside our own inputs all right and it's not gonna insert anything right here all right so this will be all and i'll see you on the next video all right so in the last video we went ahead and we actually created um created the form for um doubt for uploading the posts or for creating the topics all right so in this video we want to go ahead and we want to um place or print out as uh, a topics uh, right over here so if we look down here we can see that we have an image for every guy or girl who just went ahead and created a topic in our uh, on our own website and we have a title uh, and we have a category and then the username right here and you know uh, the date and uh, the number of replies uh, we have right over here all right so that means that we need you know the replies table in order to go ahead and also print this out so actually what we're gonna do right now in this video we're gonna go ahead and create a, a replies table and we're gonna go ahead and actually join the two um the two tables together all right the topics table and uh, the replies table in order to go ahead and get this specific piece of data which is the number of replies for every and each post or topic that we have all right so we need to actually go ahead and do this and if you're not familiar with the join queries uh with the join queries in my SQL, just listen up and pay attention you know i'm gonna explain them in details but before we go ahead and do this i just want to go ahead and actually inside the topics table right here i want to create um a column and i want to you know i want to grab the image for every user who creates a, a topic with decision all right so if we go to the structure right here so after the username right here i want to go ahead and create a column so this will be user underscore image um this will be var car it will be 200 all right so save this thing all right so there we go let's now go ahead and try to log in all right so if we copy the email right here paste it paste it once again all right before we log in actually if you're if you're logged in just go ahead and log out and try to log in with me but before we even log in you know we want to go ahead and change the session in order for this uh, or, or add the session in order for this to take effect before we even log in um so if we go to login.php i want to copy this go right here and i want to name this so it will be user underscore image and this one right here it should be image all right so we're gonna grab the image for the user using the fetch that we created right here all right so save this and you know let's go ahead simply let's actually refresh this let's paste this right here and log in all right so there we go i guess now that this is working you know since you know there is no errors now we got the image for uh, this guy right here all right so now let's go ahead and create uh, the replies table all right so if we go ahead and click on new right here so i want to call this so it will be replies all right so the first thing that we need to do is the id um 
I want this to be an auto increment and of course it's going to be a primary key so it will be unique and after this I want to get the reply itself um let me just google this all right so we got it right I was just I was just I, I was just checking for you know whether the word it's right or wrong because I suck at writing um uh, so after this i want to get the user underscore id right over here which is you know the user for the guy who wrote uh this um this reply and of course i want to get the user um underscore image right over here also all right so i'm going to insert the image so right over here the links for this is going to be five and this right here um it's going to be 200 and the user id right here all right it's going to be five and this is also five um well i would say that this is not five this is going to be a var card and it's also going to be 200 all right so we need to also get uh the topic id so i want to add like two for this all right so this will be topic underscore id right here um so this will be all right so it will be integer that's fine it will be five and then create it underscore at um and this will be timestamp and the default it's gonna be current timestamp as always all right if we click on save all right so there we go we got our own our replies table right over here which is which is great right all right so we want to insert a couple of you know a couple of replies so the id we're gonna leave it and the comment right here um let's say let me just get some kind of dummy text right here so the user id i want to keep it for one all right so all right so for the user image let's keep it gravatar you know if we simply go to this right here i want to keep i want to grab the image so let me copy this whole thing paste it right here all right so for the topic id um i want to also keep it one i want to insert another reply right here so let me just grab this all right yeah this should actually be an integer Yeah, we should go back to the structure okay all right so the reply right here shouldn't be an integer we should change it this should be a var car i'll click on save all right so there we go the user id is an integer the image is a var car the topic id is an integer and they create uh, it's a timestamp all right so we're ready to go now and insert so there we go there is the reply again the user id is one um the image is your avatar for the user who wrote this reply and the topic id is one um let's insert another one right here before this let's insert the image all right so let me copy this and the user id it's going to be one and the topic id again it's going to be one because this is the only topic id that we have all right so if we click on go all right so if we click on browse so there we go we got our own two replies right over here and now we can simply go ahead and use uh, the topic id right here uh, to do the join query so i want to open this up in another tab and you know i want to grab the sql so i can show you actually how this will work all right so the join queries if you're not familiar with them were basically join queries that's gonna join two tables together all right in some common um uh, in some common uh, column all right so we have two common columns right here in the topics and in the topics table and in the replies table so the common uh, column is the uh, in the topics table is the id right here and in the replies table it's the topic underscore right here those two have matching uh, pairs or they have matching data 
all right so that's why we're gonna combine them together in order to get you know the specific piece of data between uh, them all right we want to get the common data between those two right here where well if we pass in or if we take the id right here for the topic uh one right over here we're gonna see that we have uh, you know if we take the one right here in the id column and the topic table uh, we are gonna see that we have two replies right here uh and you know or two pieces or two similar pieces of data and the topic underscore id right over here which is one and one so those two replies if we did that if we did, if we did the joint query for the for the replies table and for the topics table we're gonna go ahead <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and get those two replies right over here and if we have a topic id with the id of two we're not gonna get it all right because it's only gonna grab the matching pairs of uh, the one uh, right here and the one right here all right so if that if you didn't understand this you know it will be all cleared out once once i go ahead and do the example for now all right so just for starting out we're gonna go ahead and go select all from and after this we're gonna go ahead and write the name of our first table all right so the name of our first table is actually topics all right so and then uh, after the name of your uh first uh first table you're gonna go ahead and write that you know the join keyword right here the just to perform uh, a join query you will have to write it after uh the first table all right so select all from topics join and after the join keyword you write uh the name of your second table and i want to join this of course with the replies table right over here all right after this you write the keyword on all right and after the on you write the two columns that you want to join all right and you just you're not just gonna write the top you know uh, the columns name just like this the id right here now we need to write the full name for the column and the full name we will start uh, in you know for writing the full name we will start with the topics uh sorry with the table name first and then dot and then you write the column name this is how we write the full uh, name for the column all right and after this we're gonna go ahead and make it so it will equal you know the second column that we want to join with this right over here which is in the next uh, table right over here after the join keyword all right and of course as always or again we want to go ahead and write replies dot and we want to join this with the topic and uh, with the topic underscore id right here all right so this is how you write your own join so we go select all from and then you write the name of the first table that you want to join and after this you write the join keyword and after the join keyword you write you know the second table that you want um that you want to join with and after this you write the keyword on you know and this will signify that you want that you know that, that you're going to go ahead and write the column names that you want to join uh, inside those two inside those two tables right here all right so um for the first column that you want to join is the topics dot id right over here all right and this is going to equal replies uh, the replies dot topic underscore id right over uh, right over here all right so this is basically it this is how you write it so if we go ahead and click on go all right so let's see what we got down here we got uh well first of all the data for the post which is the id or the columns for the post the id the title category body and username user image and created at you know those are for the topics table and we got the data also for the replies table if you look at the data right here we can see that we have a duplicate uh, piece of data right over here um uh, you know for uh, for the table uh, for the table topics you know we got the post or we got the topic uh, twice but if you look down over here uh, you know for the reply uh, columns we can see that we got the two pieces of data uh, right over here and they're actually um and they're actually different so we got both of those uh, two sorry we got both of those two right here in the replies table all right 
and you know they, they will be matched only with the first row right over here uh right over here all right so yeah this is how it basically works all right so of course we're not we don't want to go ahead and just uh echo out some uh some duplicate data for uh for uh you know for the posts or for the topics right over here so we're gonna go ahead and use the grow by all right but before we do this i want to grab some specific data um for you know for the posts right here or for the topic right here and also for the reply all what we need from the reply uh in this page is just the number uh, of replies uh right over here all right uh, the number of replies for every and each post all right so if we go ahead now and try uh, to edit this so i want to go ahead and grab um the topics dot id all right so as i said we're going to grab specific things or specific columns so again to write the column name uh, inside the jim query you have to write the full uh, thing right here you have to write the first of all the table name and then the column name all right so i'm gonna grab this and i'm gonna use an alias and and you know an alias is basically a way of writing some similar uh, names so you can you know you can make the complicated names inside your queries uh, uh you know a lot simpler or a lot easier so to write an alias you have to write as right here and after the as you're basically write uh the name that you want so i'm gonna keep uh, so i'm gonna uh, name this as an id and after this i want to grab uh, the topic dot title again as right here title and after this we want to go ahead what what else do we need to grab uh yeah we we're gonna grab the category right here do we not do we need to grab the body no so we're gonna go ahead and go topics right here so this should be topics all right topics dot category right here this is going um is going to be category all right what else do we need um again we don't need the body so we're going to grab the username and we're going to grab the user image right over here uh, and we're going to grab the created at all right so if we go to the structure we're going to grab going to grab the user underscore name so topics right here dot username as username right here all right so uh after this we're gonna go ahead and grab the user image so topics right here dot um user image as user image created that right here so topics dot created at as created at right over here all right so we got everything now for uh, every column or every piece of data that we need for uh the topics table after this we want to go ahead and grab uh, the number of replies just the number of replies uh, right over here if we look down we need the number of replies um in the replies table right here that's associated with every uh, post or topic that we have and to just to get the number of something you will have to write the count right here and we're gonna grab the count uh right here for the topic underscore id um all right so uh well first of all we need to go replies dot um topic underscore id this is what we want to count uh all right and we're gonna grab it again as um count underscore replies all right and you know after the query at the end of, of the query we're gonna go ahead and do rob by um replies dot topic underscore id so this will eliminate you know this will eliminate you know this uh this repetitive uh thing right here this repetitive data because we're only gonna uh, go ahead and you know uh post or, or sorry echo out um the topic just once all right all right and we're gonna grab 
as a number for it right here uh, based on the topic underscore id so if we click on go all right so there we go um so we got the id right here title a uh, post number one and we got the category design and username right over here and the user image we don't have anything for that just yet and the category uh, created ad is right here and the count replies um, for the number of replies is actually three all right so great now we can simply go ahead copy this whole thing and we can go um let's see yeah here we go the index.php so let's simply go at the top right here all right so if we go right here and if we try to write our own query so this will be topics so connection right here query and let's paste this whole thing in i know it's kind of huge but you know this will probably be the, the most complex query that you, that we are going to be writing in this course and we have to write it all right all right so there we go so after this we want to go ahead and go topics we need to go ahead and execute this and after this i'm gonna go all topics equal to um topics right here let's fetch this in order to go ahead and use it we're gonna fetch it with a fetch all because it's more than one row um all right so let me copy this and go at the bottom um all right so ul id topics right here and there is the image all right so ul hmm. so if we go ahead and simply remove these l eyes right here um let's remove those and simply go ahead right here yeah there is the starting of our ul all right so i'm gonna go ahead all right so there is actually the part that we are going to increment um so if we go right here and go php for each all topics as um topic right here so this will allow us to simply loop through the all topics as a topic right here so now this is our new object we can simply grab this and just go ahead and paste paste it down here and we can grab the instantiations from it uh all right as properties so basically the the instantiations uh, right now are basically the column names all right so for this one we can grab the image right over here um if we look down here did we grab the image yeah there we go we actually grabbed the user image right here um so we need to grab the alias in order to echo this out all right so this will be user image all right so we're gonna go first at the image uh folder right here and we're gonna grab the user image um uh so let's copy this because we're gonna need it and this right here is simply the title and let's paste this in there is the title um all right and after this we have the category so we're gonna also paste this in and if we look down here did we grab the category yeah there is the category again we're gonna grab the alias so paste this in and this right here is the count for uh the replies so where did we grab this so there we go all right so yeah and here we have the date and the user name so paste this in so this will be user underscore name and this right here is simply the date so we're gonna go create it 
underscore add all right so this is pretty cool now we go ahead and end this for each or otherwise we're gonna go ahead and get an error so save this whole thing now let me just give this a push so save once again let's now go ahead and refresh all right so undefined variable connection of course because you know it's it's not seeing this because of course we did not um include our connection uh file or our config file so copy this paste and save um this whole thing and let's actually go ahead and insert um and insert some kind of image at the topics uh, right here we need to insert an image right here so i want to go ahead and grab the name for this so if i paste this in paste it also right here for this topic all right because you know it you know the user created those topics the same user was the user right here created, created the same topic and it's the only user we have and he has this curvatar image so let's refresh this let's see what we have all right so attempt to read property title and array hmm looks like we missed something up right here at line 35 um line 35 for each all topics as topic topics as topic right here user image topic yeah we forgot something right here that's really important we gotta specify you know how are we are gonna go ahead and fetch this whether it's an object and a associative array and so on so i'm gonna go ahead and go with an object all right so save this whole thing let's go ahead and refresh and this should actually solve the problem so as you can see post number one right here we got the design category and we got the username uh, and we got this right here which is the date uh, and we got the number of replies right over here um, all right so this is actually pretty cool uh, if we go ahead and create another topic uh, right over here yeah it will not actually the topics will not show up uh, unless we have a reply for them right here all right so i want to go ahead uh, and maybe change the join um, that change the join to lift join right here so save this whole thing let's go ahead and refresh all right so as you can see right over here now the lift join it's going to allow us to grab every uh, topic that we have you know even if we do not have uh, a reply for them just like this one right here so again the post number two uh, right over here this one right over here which has the id two uh, doesn't have any replies just yet all right because it doesn't have a, a it doesn't have a topic id with uh with the value of two just, you know i like those two right here they have the topic of one all right so this is what the lift join is going to do it's going to grab every possible piece of data from the topics um from the topics table right here even if it doesn't have any reply all right uh, so the lift join is is kind of different and then the join just the join keyword because now it's going to grab the data from the lift table uh, the lift table is the table that's after uh, the from keyword right here All right this is what we call the lift table and the right table is actually the table that's after the join keyword All right so i hope that you're not confused it's kind of confusing a little bit but you can simply uh, read about them on w3 schools and so on all right, so this will be all, and I will see you in the next video. All right, so I think it's time now to go ahead and actually display uh, every post details that we have right here. If you hover over any one of those titles down here, you're going to see that we're going to a topic.html page. All right, so this is what we are going to be working with. Um, all right, so if we simply um, go ahead...
right here as you can see we have the topic.html i just want to place it inside the topics uh folder all right and i want to change this so it will actually be php and if we go to the index page right here this index page and if we go down we're gonna see that we have um that we have the you know let's see if we try to look up control f and if we try to go topic dot html all right so there we go we're gonna change this to php and of course we're gonna give it uh, the id as uh, a parameter uh, right here dynamically so we will go this will allow us to simply uh like fetch the id so we can use it later and we can display every data uh, every details for every topic uh, dynamically all right so uh, yeah we need the topic first right here and then we will get the id right over here the id is right over here i made an alias for it if you don't remember in the query all right so just save all of this and now let's go now to topic.php and work with it let's go down here and as always remove those i'm gonna go to create uh, .php. let's copy those and paste them right here copy this and let's go down at the bottom um all right and just go down and remove starting from here this part so just place this right here so this will be footer dot php save let's now refresh this all right so if we click on this right here let's refresh one more time all right so it's not going looks like we got something wrong if you look at the bottom we can see undefined variable id all right so let me just go ahead um at the index.php uh, let me save this one more time all right so did we get anything wrong so let's save this one more time and let's refresh all right so it looks like you know still it's telling us at the bottom right here undefined variable id um all right so echo topic id right here we look up there and see topics.id as id you know i don't think that we should doing anything wrong yeah there we go we do not need this dollar sign so sorry about that so there we go we got one and there is there is one right here and there is two if you look at the bottom we're going to a topic.php page um before we even uh, before we even go ahead and click on it you know we want to add uh, the topics folder first right here slash uh, topic.php all right so it will go this right here um let's refresh this one more time let's now click so as you can see we're getting to the page right now and of course this is all static um all right so let me close this um let's go at the top right over here let's simply start our own php all right so since we are passing in uh, a parameter in the link we want to go ahead and actually grab it all right so we're going to do this with the get sober global right here which deals with links and urls so we're going to go and see if we captured uh, an id inside the link we're going to go ahead and grab the value of this id all right so let's place this inside an id right here and after this we're going to go ahead and do our own query um all right so this will be just topic right here it's going to equal connection right over here query select all from um topics where the id gonna equal the id that's up there that we got so this is gonna grab every uh, this is gonna grab the row that we we are passing and you know paste on this id right here so after this we're gonna go ahead and go topic um execute so we want to execute this query of course 
and after this we're gonna go ahead and fetch this so uh we're gonna go right here so single topic going to equal um topic right here uh fetch just fetch because we're fetching one row at a time and inside fetch we're going to fetch this as um as an object so we're gonna go o p g all right so great let's now grab this right here um so this is the title so we want to go right here and go php echo single topic and as always we're going to go ahead and grab the instantiation from it which is as a property which is the title um and this is of course the column inside our own table um this is a symbol form no we're not going to do anything with this um so after this we have yeah this is the image for the guy who posted this so we're going to go ahead and go user um underscore image all right so if we look down here uh, and if we go to structure we're going to see that we're going to grab this image right here all right so we copy this and go this right here and paste this in this will be user and name right here let me copy this one more time now these are the num these are the number of posts that this guy uh wrote inside our own website so we're gonna leave this statically just for a minute and this is the profile id so again we're gonna leave this for now all right so there is actually the body of this post all right so we go right over here and we paste this in and we paste this as body all right so great all right so after the body ah what else do we have I guess that this is everything you know or did we miss up something um all right so if we save all of this all right so this is the first li i guess that is all let's save this whole thing let's go up here and just refresh all right so syntax error access violation you have an error in your own sql all right so at line 10 so if we go select yeah select all we forgot all right here so save this refresh all right so there we go we got our own data and here is actually the username and this is you know this is simply the body and again this part right here um uh, is simply um this is the part you know this is the number of posts that this guy wrote and we have a problem with displaying the image uh so let's go down at the image we need to go a step back because it's accessing this folder right away and it's the folder is not in the topics folder where we have uh, our own uh, file right here um it's actually in the road folder right here so we want to go step back so save and refresh so there we go all right so yeah this will be all in the next video we're going to go ahead and take care of uh, the rest of the things that we have in this page so this will be all and we'll see you in the next video all right so in the last video we went ahead and we actually uh displayed or fetched you know that the, the details for every post or for every topic that we have we fetched the body the image and the username for this guy right here and i told you that we are going to go ahead and display the number of topics that this guy created you know and while we're at it we're gonna go ahead and grab the replies right here for every post or every topic uh dynamically of course all right so let's go ahead and do this so if we go to topic.php we're gonna see that we're gonna grab you know a row based on uh, the id right here the id that's coming from this one right here from the link you know uh and of course we're gonna grab every single piece of data uh just like what we did right here uh with all uh from the topics um table right over here so while we're grabbing 
you know uh, every single piece of data we can see that we have uh, something for the user which is the user underscore name right here so this is what we are going to count in order uh, to go ahead and actually grab the number of posts that this guy did uh, all right so i hope that makes sense so we are going to count this all right so if we go down here and we're going to go um number of posts for every user all right so if we go down here um post and we can go just uh topic uh count is equal to connection query right here and we can go select count um count all from uh this will actually allow us to count all uh all the results that we're grabbing all right uh from the topics table where the user underscore name is equal to um a single topic right here and we're gonna grab from it you know since we have it already the user underscore name all right so this is what we're gonna go ahead and write so topic right here topic count um execute all right so we're gonna go right here and go count is equal to and we're gonna simply fetch this so topic count right here um and we're gonna go fetch video uh, fetch right here underscore object all right so great if we go ahead and copy this one right here and if we go to posts so if we go just type in count right here and we're gonna grab um so let's see we can go count all as um count um posts or topics so let's grab this now we're just giving it an alias and that will allow us to simply uh go ahead and print it in an easier way all right so so let's paste this right here all right so simply save this whole thing let's go right here and refresh all right so as you can see two posts right here which is just amazing you know because you know this user created uh the posts that we have so if you look at the username we only have well do we only have one user or yeah we only have one user so this guy uh you know this guy co-created the two posts uh, right over here so this is why we have uh two all right so after this we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, the, rep uh, the replies right here for every post dynamically so if we go ahead to re into replies right here we're also going to see that we have a topic id so we can match uh this one um we can match the topics uh, the topic underscore id right here was the id that's coming from the post you know that we got you now up there this id and we can simply grab uh the we can grab the replies dynamically all right so we can go down here grabbing replies um in a dynamic way all right so if we copy this whole thing if we paste it right here um we go reply All right, we can simply copy this or we can simply remove the i right here that's fine and we can go connection query select all from replies where um where the topic underscore id is equal to the id up there all right so after this we're simply gonna execute it now um so for this we're gonna go 
gonna name this as all our replies. All right, so this will be all. Uh, let's simply copy this one. Let's now go ahead. All right, so these are the replies down here. Um, we have a couple, so we we only we only need one. Um, yeah, we only need one. So let's leave one let's simply um all right so this is the form let's remove the rest all right so we go uh, up there let's see this is basically all right so this is li all right so if we go up there and if we go php for each All the replies as reply. If we simply copy this and we can go right over here. All right, so this is the image. Now we do not have images do we have images inside the replies yeah we actually have an image the user image right here so if we go php echo reply right here user underscore image so if we copy this whole thing um then we need it we need to go a step back right here first um all right so if we paste this in um all right so this is the guy who wrote uh this thing right here and we do not have a user we do not have a username for this we only grab the user id you remember so we need to go ahead and grab we need to go ahead and add um a username right here for the reply so i want to go ahead and click um and go to replies once again and i want to go to structure so i want to Go ahead and create a new column after the user after the topic underscore id so i want this to be user underscore name all right so i can keep this so it will be var car and the length is going to be 200 and if i go to browse all right so there we go i now need to go ahead um if we go to users we can simply grab the user name from here and you can go ahead and paste right here so this is the username all right so it's the same guy you know um all right so cool if we simply go ahead and grab this all right so this is the number of posts so we are going to keep this as it is for now uh, and this this will go to the profile page for the user and this down here is simply um the body or the reply so if we simply paste this in this will be body right here all right mm. And this right here will be user underscore name all right so do we need something else other than this i don't think that we need anything right here so if we go end for each all right so so save this whole thing now we shouldn't have any replies right here because this is the topic too and if we go to the replies right here we only we're only gonna grab you know we only have a topic underscore id with the id uh, uh one so we we refresh this again base view or base table or view not found so let me copy that table name because we got it wrong all right so save let's now refresh and we shouldn't find any topics right here. Must be a type of 
array object pull given all right so this should be all this is why we have this error so if we refresh again as i told you we're not having any um we don't have any replies for this topic so if we go to number one we're gonna find two um two replies right over here as you're seeing all right so undefined property body all right so we got an error a uh, single body we go at the bottom uh, right here so it's telling us it's on line 80 all right so echo reply body this is not body this is actually a reply all right so save refresh all right so there we go we got our own replies right here um and we got the image you now for the guy who went ahead and he uh you know inserted those replies um and we got uh the username we got the image and so on all right so in the next video we're going to take care of uh, this part right here which is the number of posts uh, for the guy who replied for this uh, topic right here all right so in the last video we went ahead and um we displayed uh, the replies right over here uh for uh for every post or for every topic that we have you know and i don't think that we need to display the number of posts for every guy who replied right over here it doesn't matter that much we already did um we already did it right here which is enough all right i don't want to make this too complicated i don't want to create more than one uh one join query so that doesn't mess up your your mind you know um and make this whole course uh very difficult for you all right so what I want to do right now is I want to display a couple of buttons right here uh, for uh, for the users to go ahead uh, or or just for the guy who wrote this topic right here to go ahead and delete or update this topic. Uh, all right. So yeah, this is what I want to do. So if I go down right here, I want to actually remove this part. All right. So save this whole thing, and now let's refresh. All right, so this part now is gone. All that he needs to do with this part right here is just click on the profile, and we're not gonna do, we're not gonna work with this uh, just now. All right, so I wanna grab some links right here. So I wanna go anchor, uh, anchor link button bootstrap. And if I click, if I go right here and just click on bootstrap. All right, so I wanna go at the bottom. I wanna grab some links as buttons. Um, all right, so we can copy this um let's see we need to go after the body right here and just paste this in let's paste it one more so i want to keep this so it will be delete well i would say danger all right this is just some bootstrap classes um and this right here is warning all right so this will actually go to uh, delete dot php all right so all right so the rule is button that doesn't matter um and i want to keep this i want to name it so it will actually be delete so save this whole thing and i'll go down here and refresh all right so here we are we got our own buttons right over here we can design this you know in the next video it doesn't matter what it matters right now is the functionality for the delete uh, button all right, so if we click on this, should go to the lid.php, which you know, which is a page, uh, uh, we, which is a page that we will create. We will create this file right now. Uh, all right, so if we go right here and just click uh, new file, and we will call this lid.php. All right, so there we go. Um, uh, down over here, I actually wanna go ahead uh, and send the ID with this you know so we will know which uh topic to delete all right so i want to go php echo all right so php echo right here and i want to grab this part right here paste this and this is where we have the id so finish this thing all right so we'll save now go ahead and refresh 
all right so if we hover over this as you can see it's giving us the idea right now for this topic which is great so let's now go ahead up over here well for the delete page we do not even need a form so there is not going to be any design so we're going to go ahead and just grab those right over here all right and we're going to go ahead and start our own php we do not even need this since we're not going to write any html so i want to go ahead and grab um and grab the id all right so this will be get right over here and if we grabbed the id we're going to go ahead and actually go and put it inside a variable symbol after this we're going to go ahead and just delete this right away all right so this will be connection query right here um delete from topics where id is equal to um the id that we're grabbing all right so this is simply it we can go now and just skew this after this right here we're gonna go ahead and hit back so we're better go head location um let's see we're gonna go ahead to the index page so we're gonna go app url we're gonna concatenate our constant and this will simply allow us to go to the index page which is great all right so save this whole thing well i would say that everything here looks cool so let's now refresh this all right so i want to actually go ahead and create another topic you know because i don't want to delete the one that i have right here uh, because because you know it has it has a couple of replies all right so i don't want to delete this or even we can go back once again and we can go to the post number two which doesn't have any um which doesn't have any replies right here and we can simply delete it so if we click on delete all right so we're back once again to the form and the post number two is gone we go ahead and refresh the table as you can see right here it's gone all right so this will be it for um for the delete right over here this was a very simple video but you know there is you know this uh this is the thing about the delete page uh it doesn't take that much all right so now i want to go ahead and work with the update uh button uh right over here all right so let's go ahead and do this right now um so think of the update uh link you know if you did not update any data using php and mysql it's just a way we're, gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and select the data and place it um inside uh, some inputs and then we're gonna submit it to the database we're gonna update it with an update query all right so we will we will need two queries the first one is the select query and the second one uh is the update query right here so the update is actually pretty similar um to the to the insert all right so let's go ahead and work with this now so if we go and do a page right here and if we go update.php all right so uh, i want to also fix the link down here first well we can actually work with the design you know while we're at it if we copy those and paste them right here you know the design will be fine right now all right so if we go right here all right so i want to name this so it will be update.php you know and also i want to pass in the id right here so just go ahead and paste this in and let's rename this so it will actually be update which is awesome all right so save this and there we go all right if we click on this we're gonna go to a blank page because we did not do anything with our page uh just yet all right so we want to go to the create and we want to go ahead and copy all all the things that we have all the code and paste it right here because as i told you it's going to be kind of similar 
all right so this is the part where we have decisions so if anyone tries to access the speech uh, and you know he's logged out he's gonna get you know redirected back to the index page um and after this we're checking for a form submission but before we go ahead and submit the form we want to actually grab the data to show you that to show the user which uh, which topic that he he's trying to you know to update all right so grabbing the data right here um so if we just go ahead and do an if statement and if we go have a set you know just like what we did for the delete and for the select all right so if this got the idea right here we're gonna go ahead and echo and grab the data so we're gonna go um right here we're gonna go select is equal to um connection query select all from um topics where the id is equal to the id that we're grabbing after this we're going to go ahead and go select um execute all right and after this we're going to go ahead now and go topic it's going to equal select and this will be fetch right over here all right and this will be pdo fetch underscore object all right so this will be all and again it's only it's just a keyword fetch not fetch all because we're grabbing one row at a time all right so sounds great so we want to go ahead after this and we are checking for a form submission down down there we have a form down here all right and after the form submission we're checking if the title and the category are empty or not and that's great and if the body is empty or not all right so we're going to leave this as it is that's all fine and after this if they're not empty we're going to go ahead and grab the data all right and that's all cool um and after this we're basically going to go ahead and name this as update because this is an update uh query and this right here we're going to go ahead and simply remove this whole thing and start update topics um set set title equal to and we're going to specify our own handlers and we're going to execute them just like what we did for the insert all right so i want to grab the title right here um and after this we're going to update the category is going to equal the category right here so after the category we're going to grab the body it's going to equal the body right here all right don't forget your commas or or everything will just get messed up all right so the user id or the username right here all right so it will be the same we're not going to actually allow the user to update the username it's going to go it's you know it's going to be inserted or updated uh, right away you know with with an uh, a hidden input all right so after this we're going to go back um so the index page which is right here all right so let's now go ahead and work with the form so the form right here the method is post we're going to leave this as it is and for the action we're now um working with another um we're now working with another page which is update.php and we also need to fetch the idea right here so i'm gonna go ahead and fetch the id that we grabbed through the link or git post sober global and after this we're looking at the inputs so for the inputs of course we want to show the values first for the user that's going to update them and we we already like we already grabbed the data right here and this is why we did this uh so if we go ahead and copy this right here we can now grab the instance the instantiations or the properties from this right here so if we go php echo topic right here so this will allow us to grab the title copy this all right so we're gonna leave the category as it is you know um 
all right and for the body we can just go ahead right here and paste this in so this will be body all right so great um and as for the button so type submit and the name is submit that's all fine and this right here will be update all right so yeah this actually this should be all so save this whole thing and let's now go ahead and refresh this and as you can see all right we got a problem and define it variable id on line 15 and so let's go up there all right so we did not actually grab the data for the id so sorry about that so we want to grab the id right here you know because it's not seeing this because you know it's not defined it so let's save this let's refresh so as you can see post number one is right here and here is the category and here is the body for this post and we can simply now go ahead and update all right so i want to i want to update the body let's grab a bigger text which is this whole thing right here we simply paste this and if we click uh, or we can even go ahead and also do um the title so i want to keep it post number one like this and for the category i want to go ahead and grab cloud and hosting so if i go ahead and click on update all right so post number one right here as you can see it's now changing if we click on it right here as you can see now the body is bigger all right if we go back to it we can see now that the category is changing cloud and hosting all right so there's actually topics if you refresh this as you can see it's actually being updated which is just awesome all right so great now while we're at it you know while we're doing anything everything right here i want to go ahead and protect um and protect these buttons right right here so if we create it uh, if we go ahead and create a, a new user right now it's going to be able to access those buttons and you know update or delete uh the topics or posts for uh, another user which is just uh, missed up we don't want the users to go ahead and do this all right we only you know users can only update or uh, delete uh posts or topics you know the uh, they can update or uh, delete the, the ones that they created right not the other uh, not you know not posts for other people or for other users all right so we want to go ahead and uh we're going to go to topic.php and we want to go ahead and check for the session right here so if we go f we, we already got um the user id or the username right over here so we better go right here and we're gonna go f the user name all right if the username that's being grabbed from the topic right here which is right over here at the topics um table if it's equal to the one that's coming from the session which is which is session uh, you know user underscore name if it equals that you know that means that you know that this user have should have access to the update and the delete button and he's actually the right user and if not we're just gonna we're not gonna do anything all right we're gonna end um f right here all right so this will be all so if we save all of this and now if we go ahead and refresh you know and define the variable key user uh, underscore name so if we go to login yeah this is actually just username like this all right so save let's now go ahead and refresh all right so there we go we got now the update and delete and of course he will have access to them uh, since you know this user ha will have access to them since he already created uh, this topic if we now go ahead and actually log out um if we simply go ahead right here all right so we can see that we we still have a problem you know and it's telling us that you know the username is not defined it right now and that's of course because we do not have a session so it's not going to see this right now because we already destroyed the session and we unset the variables all right so we want to even go up there and validate for valid validate once more all right so we want to go f is set right here if we have a session go ahead and process this code and if not we're not going to do anything right here all right so we're going to go end f 
All right, so save. All right, so there we go. So let's go ahead now and register for a new user. So I want to go John Doe at Gmail. All right, so there is the email address. So I want to paste this, paste this, and paste this for the password. And let me just go ahead. Um, htdocs and i want to go ahead or, or to our own forum let's grab the same photo all right so for the about me let's simply go ahead and grab any kind of text if we click on register all right so now we are at the login page if we simply go ahead to the users all right so here we go we got our own record so just paste both of those and log in we click on this now as you can see uh, we cannot now see uh, the update and delete buttons right here because this user did not create them. All right, so this this is just awesome, you know. But he can he can access them through the link. All right, which again shouldn't shouldn't be happening. All right, so we better do something about this whole thing. Uh, so if we simply close this, um, then if we go to update.php right here um all right so we want to go down over here and we want to go f um topic and for this topic right here we also want to check for the user uh, underscore name if this right here equals you know the one that's coming from the session user name right here we're gonna go ahead you know if it's already um if the user underscore name right here that's coming from this query is equal to the one inside the session you know well we better reverse this so if not right here we're gonna go ahead and hit back um so the index all right so we can simply go ahead and go app url all right so if we save this let's now try to access this right here so i want to go and i want to go right here update dot php and i want to go all right so it's opening up so something is wrong you know all right, so if the topic username right here um, is equal to the one that's coming from the session. So if we go right here, um, all right, so there is the user underscore name. Hmm. All right, so this shouldn't be right here. This should actually be right here. So we save. If now, if we refresh, as you can see, we're going back, which is just amazing. So he cannot actually access this. So if we go to topics right here, and let's try to access it once again. So there we go. Update.php. You know, and we're going to post one. So we're going back to the index page one, once again. So we should, you know, this exclamation mark should uh, should be at this part right here all right so we want to also do this for the delete right here um all right so for the delete i want to go ahead first and grab um and grab the data so it can actually perform this whole thing so we can copy this part from the update and we can go down here and right here we're going to select the data uh, from the topics where id is equal to the id right here and we're going to execute and after this we're going to go ahead and select you know and that's all for the sake of for checking if you know if the username that's going to this page is equal to the one inside the session or not all right and uh simply if you know if this if this is not if this is the case if they are different we're going to go ahead and simply you know go back 
to the index page so save all right we did something wrong um all right so we remove this you know all right so that's fine save this whole thing and let's now go ahead and try to access the delete you know for the post one right here so if we go topics slash um delete delete.php and there we go all right so we want to keep the id is one because this is the one this one right here uh the post with the id uh, with the id with the id two is gone actually it's it's gotten deleted in the in the last video so if we try to access this as you can see all right so it actually got deleted if we click on browse all right so the post got deleted actually it means which means that something is wrong um all right so the topic underscore all right so just give me a second all right so i have an idea in mind you know which is you know if you know if again if the username right over here in this in this part you know that's coming from that's coming from the database is not equal to the session again we're gonna go back to the location and that's all fine but you know uh it probably got deleted because because it performed this code anyway all right so we want to go ahead right here and do an else block and we're going to take this part right here all right so if we save this whole thing let's now go ahead and try to create a topic we are going to create it with the with this user right here um all right so if we create it with this user we should go ahead and try to access it with the other user which has the id of one if we look up over here all right so we're going to create it with this one so if we click on create topic and we're going to go topic one right here and the design is going to be development and the topic body right here let's grab this whole thing let's paste it so if we click on create all right so topic one right over here which is just awesome all right there is something wrong with the image but you know we're gonna work we're gonna work with this in the next video that doesn't matter for now if we access it right now as you can see we got the delete and the update buttons let's now go ahead um and simply try to log out all right so if we try to log in with the other user that we have if we go ahead and log in all right so there we go if we try to access this as you can see we cannot see the buttons right now if we try to go ahead and just access delete.php and just go there all right so we're going back once again and the post did not get deleted all right which is just awesome we made our code work all right so let's let's see what you know what's the problem with um the problem with this uh image right over here um if we go and try to lock up this users all right so what's the wrong with the image the image is being inserted successfully um so if we go to index right over here all right so the index it's going to the image right here which is just fine if we look up uh, the topics right here all right so the user image is not being inserted right over here all right so we better go ahead and grab it copy this go right here and paste all right so this will work just fine for for now in the next video we're gonna see what's what's going up with this um with this image all right so this will be all so now let's go ahead and start working with the replies right over here all right so i want to start working with this before we go ahead and do this you know if we try and insert a new topic right here um let's go topic two right here i want to show you just just you know a couple of errors that we have um so the body for the topic uh if we copy this right so create well first of all it's not showing up 
right here. And if we try to look at it at the topic stable, you're going to see that we're actually uh, we're not inserting the image. All right. So those are two things that we need to take care of. Uh, so the first thing, basically, if we go, you know, it, it's doing this. It's not showing up because we do not have a reply for it. So if we simply, if you go, um, if you go to the topics right here, we want to grab the ID for the topic and um, go ahead right here and change any one of those user topics right here. And, you know, it will simply allow this to show up, you know. So there you go right here. And we have now an ID for it. Uh, and the image is not showing up and I will show you why. All right, so... The reason the, the the image is not showing up because it's not being inserted. So if we go um, to create right here, create.php. Uh, all right, so we can see that we're not inserting any image. So we want to go right here and we want to name this image. All right, so this will actually grab the user image right here from the session. If we look at the auth, we look at login, you can see that we have the user image right here. All right, so just paste this in. Um, so we're also going to change the part inside um, the query. And since we like change this part inside the query, we're going to go ahead and also add it right here. All right, so there we go. Um, so this will be in this will be inserted dynamically from uh, from the session so we do not need to add any kind of input down there so save this whole thing let's now go ahead um, and try to log out let's log in once more um, if we go to users you know actually it would work if we if we still logged in but I just want to you know make sure that it you know it fully works so if we go right here topic 3 so if we go to the category so if we copy right here if we click on create all right so violation user image cannot be null on line 33 all right so um user underscore image all right so it's actually right here and then what's going on right here and the user image is just right here we grabbed it right here from the image all right so there we go user underscore image then um user underscore image we go down here and if we go to topics you can see that we have user underscore image all right, so it should be fine. Hmm. All right, so just give me a second. All right, so the reason this is not working, if we go, if we actually go to the user table, we can see that, you know, the name for the column is actually avatar, it's not image, all right? So we need to grab this as avatar. If we go to login right here, um we need to grab this as avatar right here all right we can simply click on structure and we can copy this no make sure that we're not making any mistakes so save this whole thing let's try to go ahead and log out once again so let's go and log out once again and let's try um to log in all right so let me copy one of my emails and let me go ahead and paste this in a couple more times all right so there we go now let's go ahead and create a topic right now so topic three all right so there we go so for the body let's go ahead and copy this paste right here so click on create all right so now if we go to um topics right here all right so there we go we got our own record topic three all right let me copy this and also paste it right here since we already have the same uh the same image for the both user uh, for both users 
all right so again if i want to show the topics uh, right here the third topic i gotta have a reply for it so i'm gonna go ahead and give this right here the id of 10 and i'm also gonna change the user name for both so if we go to topics right here to make this even more uh, right all right so the user id is also going to change all right so if we go for the topic tour right here we're going to see that the username is one is this one right here so it's basically the same username all right and for the other one yeah it's also the same user uh, name right over here all right and if we go the users right here we're going to see that we have the id it has the id of one so they're basically you know they're, they're going to work just fine all right so it's the same user that created you know the same uh, replies so if we simply refresh this so as you can see right here we got topic three right now which has this body all right here is topic two and here is simply topic one you know that was created by the other users that's why we cannot see the buttons you know delete and uh, update all right so that's all that's all great and that's all fine i'm gonna actually go ahead right now and work with uh the reply right which is this right here and this should be pretty simple it's going to be similar for creating um for creating actually this right here which is the topic all right so i want to go and create another folder so i'm going to call this replies right here all right so for the replies i want to go and write in call or actually create another file which is create.php um well i don't think that we yeah you know we can actually process the logic in the same page you know if you think about it so we do not even need to create another file or even another folder right we can simply process logic in the same page you know that will be fine so if we simply delete replies right here all right so there we go um if we simply yeah if we simply you know remove you know or close this page and we can simply go to topic.php we want to go at the top right here all right so we got a bunch of functionality right here i want to go outside of this if condition right here and i want to go f um is set um post submit right here we're gonna go ahead and grab the data all right so this is going to be again really similar to the create um so if i go create right here and i can go ahead and simply um let's see i can grab all this logic this part right here for the form submission and also go ahead and paste this right here so this will check for the form submission and we're only going to check for one thing and one thing only and that is um the reply right here all right so this will be reply so if this is um if, if the user left this empty this will be triggered as always and we're gonna go ahead and simply grab a couple of things right here so paste this in and paste this in also um if we look at the table replies that we already created right here all right so we have the reply we have the user id the user image and the topic uh, id and we have the user underscore name so we have quite a bit of things like the process right here all right so we need the user underscore id now most of them are going to be grabbed from the session already so you know we have a lot of we have a lot of work that has been done to us so if we go session right here this should be the id all right so after this we're gonna grab the image and we're only of course we're gonna grab the value for the image so this will be also um the user image right here after this topic id all right so topic id is right here um all right and this is actually the id that's coming from the link all right so it's going to equal the id right over here 
um what else we have the username we want to grab so this will be username and this will be username down here um i want to check um and I'll check the login all right so there we go yeah this is simply uh user uh this is simply username down here all right so we do not make any mistakes so i guess we got the five columns that we need to insert which are the ones right here uh, so let's go down all right so insert connection prepare insert into replies um the first thing right here is reply and this one right here is user id and this one right here is user image and this is topic topic id and this is user name right here all right so these are the columns now let's take care of the handlers all right so just copy and paste now take care of these signs right here um the commas or you're gonna miss something up and then it will not work you know some people are just watching my courses and they're complaining about their their code they're telling me that their code doesn't work but you know sometimes it's your fault it's not my fault just take care of everything all right so there we go after this we're gonna get back um all right so we're not gonna make it so it will go back to the index we're actually gonna go ahead the topics right here and we're gonna go ahead and go to the same page so we're gonna go to topic.php right over here um so we're gonna go id is gonna equal and we have to fetch this dynamically all right so this this will be all um so if we go down to the reply um all right so there is the form for the reply so the form i want to keep the method it's going to be post the action it's going to be of course the same page so it's going to be topic dot php and again we have to fetch the id or this will not work it will trigger an error right away so we better echo out the id that we're grabbing All right so awesome so the text area um the name it's going to be reply that's cool that's what we need yeah i guess you know the type is submit and the name also going to be submit all right so save cool now let's simply go ahead and refresh all right so right here i want to go ahead and type in the first reply so if we click on submit all right so undefined array key id in line 40 one um let's go at the top all right so it's 41 all right so there is 41 session right here so i want to go to login and see this is for the session and that is user id not just id all right so save let's go back once again and refresh this all right i want to go to replies and see if we have any new data or not so I don't think that we have any new data so let's try and insert one more so i want to go first uh reply we click on submit all right so we're going back once again and as you can see the data now is being uploaded right away all right so this is what we did in the last video we just made it so we will actually grab the replies all right so this is pretty cool you know as you can see now we have a username right here and we have a username that's right here that's actually different all right so this is being pulled by dynamically from the database so we want to go to the home and if we simply go down here as you can see we got now one every one of those now has a reply if we go to replies right here and if we 
click on browse so as you can see here is the reply and here is the user id for the guy who replied and the user image and the topic id right here and also the username all right so if you know if the number of uh, topics right here are different for you you know after we after you insert them and uh, mine are nine and and ten right here that's because i inserted some you know off camera so don't worry about that all right um you just have to grab the ones that you have all right you know doesn't matter if they are not the same number you know this is uh, completely up to you um all right so we can go to topic three and simply go ahead and create another uh, reply right here so we can go uh this is a reply by me at one of my posters all right since we already have uh since we were since this guy already created this post right here this is why i'm writing this uh, reply right here all right uh and we know this because you can view those the delete and the update all right so we can click on submit right here so as you can see this is a reply by me at one of my posts um and yeah looking great so if we click on browse as you can see right here the topic is id topic id now is 10 and the user image and the user id are right now um as you can see they're being inserted and there is the reply and you know everything looks cool right here you can simply log out and uh try to reply at one of the posts with another account that you have all right so this will be all and i will see you on the next video all right so now let's go ahead and work with replies even more uh, so i want to go ahead and create a delete and update uh links for uh for the replies right here just like what we did for the topics all right so we're gonna just copy and paste code and we're gonna edit some stuff and that will actually be all you know not much um all right so as you can see now uh, we have this user right the username right here so and we have also this username right here and they're both um identical to the username that we have so that means that this guy right here is the one who commented on this post right here all right so we want to go ahead um let's see when i go to topics and when i go to topic.php and we want simply to copy the code for the links which is right here i want to go ahead um and copy this whole part you know we already did the chicken for the session and we did the chicken uh for um or you know if this guy uh, whether this guy created uh this um uh, this topic or not so we want to copy this whole code right here copy it and just go down there uh, we want to paste it down over here all right and let's save all of this and let's refresh all right so as you can see we got the update and the delete right now all right so great um so first of all i want this to go um the replies slash delete.php which is you know um which is actually do we have a folder for the replies um no we do not have one so let's go ahead and create one i want to create a folder for the replies and i want to go ahead and actually um, create two files right here which is the update and the lead all right so i'm gonna go ahead and go replies right here um all right so we want to go ahead and copy this and we want to paste this in so delete.php all right and we need to send the id right here for uh, the reply which is not uh which is not this one right here all right so let me just remove this and also remove this right here all right or we can even cut it you know and paste and paste this right here so this will be reply and here we got the id you know since we got this one right here which is the reply now from the for each up there there we go um all right so 
you can also copy this and paste it right here and let's go right here and write in reply slash update.php all right so all of this is fine all of this is cool and possibly we're not going to check for the single topic we want to check for something you know that's related to the reply which is this one right here so we want to copy this and paste right here for the reply and let's go uh to the to the replies button uh, to the replies table right here all right so we want to check with the user id you know to check for the session not uh because we don't have a username right here at the replies table all right all right so when i go user underscore id all right so that's that's all fine that's all great um let's go ahead now to the lead.php and let's go ahead and copy this code um and go to the lead.php which is in the replies and paste this whole thing in so we want to go ahead and grab the header and the config um and we're gonna go ahead and grab uh the id all right so that's all fine after this we're gonna go ahead and select you know all right so select all from topics where the id is equal to the id um topic username session all right so this is this part is basically grabbing um grabbing the data for a, a single topic so we're gonna do this uh so it will be actually um replies where the id is equal to the id and then we're gonna execute and after this we're gonna go ahead and let's call this reply um so if you do not remember this part right here but this part we're basically checking for that we're checking for the session all right if this guy is the right guy to delete uh, this uh this reply or not because we cannot let other users delete other replies for other users they only have the right to delete their own uh, re replies uh, all right so after this i'm gonna go ahead and check for the user underscore id once again because this is what we have so we're gonna see if this is right here um we're gonna check for the session for the username well this actually not shouldn't be the username also um i should go ahead and grab the id all right so there is the id actually all right so there is there we go the id and also right here here we go the id because we want to validate with the user id so we should match it to the user id not the name all right so if this makes sense all right so after this if you know uh if if you know if this user right here uh, doesn't have the the id that's uh that's that matches with the id that's coming from the session is going to go back to the index page right because that means he's trying to you know access deleting a reply that's not his and after this we're going to go ahead and delete this so right here i'm going to go delete from replies where the id is equal to the id and after this we're going to go ahead and execute and after this we're going to get back to the index page uh, right here all right so i don't want to get back to the index page actually i want to get back to the same topic so i want to go right here um and grab this so copy um all right i want to close this and paste this right here so this will go to the root folder first and this will go to topics and go to topic.php and after this it's going to go to the id right here um this is the id for the reply not the id for the topic hmm. well let's for now get back to the index all right so if we save this whole thing let's now go ahead and refresh all right so as you can see right here i have the right to delete this topic or update it because again the username right here is similar to the username right over here all right and i have uh the right um like to update and delete to both of those replies because again the username uh, right here uh, or actually the id for this user right here is the same as the one in the session all right so it's validating completely the right way all right if i actually go back to the home and if i try to access this topic right here so as you can see right over here first 
apply. All right, let me go back. All right, so I can either uh, update or delete this. So this is working fine. All right, and let me also check this. All right, so this is also working perfectly. All right, so we go ahead now and try to simply um, delete this one. So this is a reply by me at one of my posts. So if we go to the post reply, all right, so it's the one with the ID 5 right here. Let's see after we delete what's going to happen. So if we click delete, all right, so we deleted. Huh. All right, so we deleted, um, deleted the topic, not the reply. So something is wrong with the link. Um, let's go down. All right, so it should go to reply slash delete.php and it should actually pitch the ID for the reply. All right, so did we not save this? I don't think that we I don't think that we saved it. So let's go back once again. So again, we have a reply right here for this guy right here and the ID matches for both, you know, for the users or for this user right here. So if we click on delete, all right, so replies slash delete.php page not found all right so we want to go a step back first you know again step back all right so save let's now go ahead and refresh once again all right so if we click on delete all right so if we now go topic one all right so let's go to topic right here all right so now the uh, comment is basically gone. I want to go ahead and insert one and I want to actually delete it, you know, to just remove this confusion. So if I click on topic two, um, here is a reply that I am going to delete. All right, so great. So basically, I want to browse this all right so if i click on submit all right so there we go here is a reply that i'm going to delete if we click on browse right here so here is a reply that i'm going to delete now here is our new reply so if i try to delete it right now all right so if we click on topic two let's now go ahead and click on browse all right so now it's actually gone i want to go ahead and register with another user and let's see if i'm able to see the delete and the update uh, button buttons for uh, the replies All right so let me just go ahead and try to log in log in right here so topic one we have no replies right here and you know and topic one right here all right so there is the reply by the other guy right here which have this username and you know and i'm, I'm not seeing the delete and the update right over here i can only see the delete and the update for uh, my topic right here you look at uh, the username I can see you can see that we you know they're both uh, they're both matching all right so if i try let me try to insert a comment so there is a new comment if i click on submit all right so there we go there is a new comment which is great um if we click on browse uh, on the replies all right so there is a new comment if you notice you know the topic id it's right here and the username it's right over here which is just amazing and the user id right here also is changing so there is the user id which is two if i go ahead and simply try to delete it all right so there we go if we click on topic two right here and if we try to browse all right so that's amazing so this will be all i hope that you're not confused um it's not a big deal it's just like the last one but we're we know we're changing the validating the validation a bit we're just validating with the user id right over here all right so yeah this this will be all and i will see you on the next video all right so now let's go ahead and work with the update and it's again it's going to be pretty similar to um the update for the topic all right so if we click on any one of those topics right here you know we can see that this one right here doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any replies all right um so if we go right over here we actually try 
like to enter a new reply and here is a new reply all right if we click on submit so there we go here is a new reply now we can either update or delete this uh if you hover over those you can see that we have uh, at the bottom uh, right here the id for uh this um uh, the id for this reply right so we can either delete or update uh so great let's now go ahead and open this up so if we go to topic.php we can see that we created this folder in the last video there we go the replies and now we can simply go ahead and um create the update all right so there we go uh so there we go here is the update so i want to go update.php which is inside the topic and and i i want to go ahead and copy this whole thing all right so i want to go ahead and paste this right here so we're going to do a couple of things here and there so this will check for the session that's fine and this right here it's going to grab the id and after we grab the id we're you know as we did in the last video we're going to go ahead and validate if this guy uh, that's trying to get to the update.php uh, right here is the right guy or not did he is the one uh did he the one who created this comment or reply or not all right so select all from and we're gonna go replies now and where the id is equal to the id after this we're going to execute and right here we're gonna go ahead and fetch uh, all right so after the fetch right here we're gonna go ahead and check no and we don't want to check for the username we go ahead right here um we actually have the username and we can check with it but i want to go ahead and check uh with the user id all right that's fine if you want to check with the username all right so the user id is going to be right here the one that's coming from the session we're going to match these two together you know if you know if the user id that's coming from the query right here that we're selecting um doesn't match with the session that means that this guy is not the right guy so we're gonna go ahead actually and get back to the index page all right otherwise we're gonna go ahead um we're gonna go ahead and perform our uh form submission all right so this right here should check you know if the inputs are empty or not and we only have one thing uh, right here and that will be the reply we're gonna only have one input all right so after this let's go ahead and just um name this as reply all right so this right here should be update connection prepare update replies that that reply all right so let's grab the reply right here we also need to be, we also need to paste it right here right here and right here and we're gonna go where id is equal to the id that we're grabbing right from up there is right here all right so after this let reply equal to the reply where the id is equal to the id all right so we're going to execute this again only one so we are go ahead and paste the reply in and after this we're going to get back once again to the index page all right so let's take care of the form right here so the form is going to go to the same page which is update.php and we're going to echo out the id for the replies that we're trying uh, to update all right so after this we're only going to need one input so we better go ahead and remove uh those right here we're not going to need the select box or even the text area so this should be a type of text and the value right here should be um topic not topic now it's going to be reply and this is going to be reply right here all right so this is the value that we're going to see for the for this very um a reply all right this is the reply that we're trying to select right here and I want to go ahead and change the name so it will actually be reply. All right, so enter post title here. Enter reply. All right. 
so after this we're basically uh, the button is type submit and the name is type submit so this is all fine this is all great all right so i hope that we did not make any mistakes so we save this whole thing let's now go ahead and refresh and if we click on update right here all right so it sounds like we got a problem um so update right here we click on delete i think it's going to delete this but if we try to click on update you know all right so um like all from replies where the id is equal to the id all right so the reply select fetch php object um so if the topic yeah this is not topic this is reply so save let's go ahead once again to this um so this was topic yeah this was that topic two right here so if we try and click on update so as you can see right here we're going to the page and we have our own reply so this should be topic title on uh, topic title this should be the reply right here all right so save this let's now refresh so here we go uh here is a new reply so you can go right here and update this as uh this is and updated reply all right let's try and click right here so this is actually our last reply right here that we're trying to grab and update and it has the id of eight which is right here all right so if i click update all right so we're back once again so as you can see this is an updated reply so this is got updated successfully uh so if we click on browse all right so this is an update reply right here so amazing huh and the user id is still the same everything everything will still basically the same because we're only updating um the reply itself which is just right here this column right we're not going to update anything else all right so this is great and that uh, that will actually be all it was pretty simple not that hard because we did this um we did this in the last video the last couple of videos already all right so this will be all and see you on the next video all right so now let's go ahead you know since we finished uh this part right here uh the part that's related to the replies and to the topics uh we gotta take care of uh this uh, these two sections right here and they're mainly gonna be like counting stuff counting data rows that we have inside our own tables all right so this part right here for the categories um it says right here all topics so we're gonna grab every topic that we have and count it and just place it down here and of course we're gonna take care of this uh part but you know that's probably gonna be in the next video all right so these these two sections right here i actually placed them if you do if you don't remember inside the footer that right over here because we wanted like uh, to include them at every page that we have all right so if we go ahead right over here and start our own logic so if we go php um if we go right over here and try to grab all topics so i want to go right here and go topics is equal to um if we go connection right here and if we go query select count all as all topics uh, from topics all right so this is how you count stuff inside your own tables and we're basically uh doing an alias right here you know that will allow us to simply set up a symbol name for this uh count right here all right so we can use this and print it out right away all right so after this we're gonna go topics cute all right and after this we're simply gonna go ahead and go all topics equal to um topics right here page all video 
uh, fetch underscore opg so we can go ahead and fetch this as an object so if we will actually just fetch because we're gonna grab only one value all right for every we're gonna grab only you know account for every topic that we have so it's only one value so if we grab this right here and if we go paste this right here so we go php echo all topics and we can simply grab uh, the alias right here so this will allow us to grab the number of topics all right so save this whole thing and let's refresh all right so uh, undefined it constant pdo fetch object all right so it looks like we did something wrong right here and that is all right which should be this way ch uh so if we refresh so as you can see we got two you know and of course these are the only topics that we have so we're grabbing this right way um if we go to forum right here all right and if we go to topics All right, so there we go. Let's try and create another one. So if we go um, third topic right here, and we're gonna keep this as business and marketing. Let's grab um, any kind of any kind of text and click on create. All right, so there we go. We got now three. All right, so if we click on browse, so as you can as you can see right here, we're getting three topics. So yeah, this will be all, and I will see you in the next video. All right, so now let's go ahead and take care of this part. And as you can see right here, we got our own categories, and we got the number of posts for every category or the number of topics. All right, so um, in this part right here. We're gonna go ahead and create uh, the categories table first and of course we're gonna insert some of these inside the table and we're gonna go ahead and do a join query uh, between the categories table and the topics table just like the one that we did uh, for this part right here at the beginning of this course we did a join query for the topics and for the replies to get a number of replies all right so let's go ahead first and create this table if we go ahead simply down here and if we go categories right here all right we're gonna keep this four that's fine all right so we will keep this id and it's gonna be integer it's gonna be five um and we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it auto increment and it's gonna be a primary key and right here we're gonna write the name and this will be the name of the category um all right and this will be 200 right after this you know the last thing that we're gonna do is the date so create that so this will be a timestamp and as always current time stamp all right so let's remove this null if we click on save all right so there we go we got our own table let's now go ahead and insert a couple of these right here so let's go and grab design um so let's also go and grab the development i want to i want to insert like all of them all right so i cannot copy this so let me just try to type it in let me insert a couple more uh like all right so let me try to copy this very hard to copy since it's already and a link so let me just grab it with my inspect element all right so we go ahead and grab the next one and this will be a search engine all right so if we simply go ahead right here and paste this in um so for this one right here i want to go ahead and grab the last one which is cloud and hosting um all right so if we click on go click on browse all right so there we go we got our own five records which is just great 
uh, let's now go ahead and grab them and do our own join query so you know rather than just doing this whole thing from scratch i want to go ahead and actually grab my own query and i will i will try um to cut and edit some stuff from it so we can actually work with this so let me go ahead to the sql right here and i'll show you what's going on all right so there we go um this is the table categories and i want to also get so i want to grab the topics table right here so we're going to join those two um and the name category right here for the categories table you know uh sorry in in the name or uh, in the name column right here for the categories table and and um let's see and the category right here for the topics table all right so we want to go ahead first and take care of this part well we look up over here you can see select topics.id we do not want topics uh we do not want the topic id we want the categories dot id right here all right as id all right that's fine and we're not gonna grab the topic title all right so let's remove this part we're not gonna grab the topics category all right so also remove this part right here all right and we're not gonna grab the topics username so also remove this and we do not want the topic user image all right so remove this also which the alias of course and this is the topic uh, dot create ad we also do not want this all right so let's just um what we want is categories dot name right here because of course we're going to go ahead and paste uh, or actually echo out uh, the category name right over here all right so after this we want um, the topics uh, dot category uh, right here so this is what we are going to count in the topics table all right because we don't want we don't want to like grab the number of categories right here inside every topics you know that's already related um related with the name right here in the topics uh in the categories table all right so if we go right here topics dot category right here as count replies this will be as count category right here from topics table we want this to be categories right here all right so left join replies this will be topics instead of replies on topics.id not topics.id we want this to be categories.id right over here well not id we want this to be name all right and it's going to equal topics dot uh category right here all right group by replies dot topic underscore id well we want to grab it by this one all right right here all right so i hope this makes sense so again select categories.id as the id we want to grab the id for the category and categories.name right here and we want to set an alias for this and we'll call this a name all right we want to give it a comma after this we're going to count the topics.category right over here um because we want to grab um we want to grab the number of categories right over here all right and this is going to be the number that we're going to place uh, right here uh, all right so after after this we're gonna we're gonna give it an alias as count category from the categories table and we're gonna make a left join to it uh, right over here with the topics uh, table all right on categories dot name and these are the two columns that will that will match together uh, this is categories dot name which is uh, right here this one it's going to match with this one right here all right so yeah there we go topics.category group by we're gonna group them by the topics.category right here all right so if we click on go all right so there we go right over here we got the id and we got the name and those are both those are both uh, the columns uh, inside the categories table and we got the count category right over here all right so we got only one 
post or one topic for the business and marketing and one post or topic in the development and one for the search engines so let's go ahead now grab this and try to go to the footer so we're gonna go number of uh, posts inside every category all right so we're gonna go all categories or we can even just go now categories equal to connection query all right so paste in all this whole thing you can you can know post the video um if you did not uh, write it in the la in the you know uh, inside inside the sql right here you can simply post the video and try to write it that's fine after this we're going to go ahead and go um categories um execute and we can go right here all categories categories right here We go right here and we go for each all right so if we go all categories as category all right so if we go down here we want to go ahead uh, all right we will leave this just for a second this will probably go to another uh, page where we grab the posts or categories for every uh for, you know we will grab the posts for every category that we have all right you know but before we work with this i want to just print out um the name so if we go echo category right here and if we go name we copy this whole thing right here and if we go right here and this will be simply um all right if we, if we go up there we can simply grab the count category right here so this will be this will be all if we go php and for each all right so this is all save we now go ahead and refresh all right so design business marketing development search engines if you look at here business marketing development and search engines all right so we got four right here all right so um i feel like we forgot one not showing up so it's probably cloud and hosting yeah cloud and hosting it's not showing up um if we try only um if we only keep this as a join i don't think it will actually work it will only grab the ones that already have posts that's it so design will disappear so as you can see design actually disappeared you know so we will leave it as a left join and that's fine when we add uh when we add a post and uh, the cloud and hosting it will actually pop up right here all right so you know this is this is enough for me um maybe we'll go and create one right now so clouds and hosting post so if we go to the design and this right here is cloud and hosting all right so let me just go copy a body and click create so as you can see cloud and hosting is right here so everything now is showing up and we got four topics all right so this is pretty great so this will be all and i'll see you in the next video all right so now let's go ahead and actually um we want to do this feature when the user clicks on any one of these categories right here or even clicks on the links of the names of the categories he will go to another page 
uh, that's similar to this page right here, to the index page, where we're going to go ahead and show uh, the topics that are related to this uh, very or same category. All right, so before we do this, we want to go ahead and just change the names uh, of these categories right here to only a one word name. All right, because if we leave it to be like two names like this with uh, a space between them, you know, we're going to go ahead uh, and actually have problems fetching uh, with the links right here. All right. Uh, so I want to go ahead and do this uh, right now. So I want to go, well, first I want to go to the categories table and do them. And then I'm just going to paste them right here at the topics right here since we're doing, uh, since we did the joint query in the last video. All right. So I want this to be um S E S E O all right and I want this to be only um marketing all right so this will only be marketing right here all right so this will also be just false hosting all right so this is all i want to grab the ceo um to the search engines and just paste it i want to also grab the marketing right here and i want to paste it you know instead of business and marketing i want to also go ahead to the hosting and grab it and just paste it inside cloud and hosting all right so let's now refresh all right so everything's being pulled up uh, the right way and it's, it's actually looking a lot better i would say all right, so now we can take care of this part. We can go ahead and when the user clicks on any one of those, we're going to go ahead and go to another page and we're going to grab the data. Um, all right, so I want to go ahead right here and just create a folder and I want to name it categories right here. All right, so inside this, I want to go ahead and create, uh, let's see, go.php. Um, all right, if we go um if we go now to the part where we have the links right here this part it should be in the includes and it should be at footer.php and there is the page that we should go to so i want to go a step back and i want to go to the categories folder slash show dot php and i want to pass in the name right here all right for this category so since we already got the data for the category dynamically right here all i can just do is go php echo category and i can grab the name all right so save this whole thing let's now go ahead and refresh all right so if we click on this all right so now we are at name which you know we are at show.php right here um and we're basically going to the name which equals design so it's telling us url not found so we're going the categories right here all right we should fetch um i want to go ahead and fetch the whole link dynamically using the app url url um all right so there we go if we simply save this let's go ahead now refresh this once more uh, let's we go right here as you can see we're going to the right path all right so we're going now to the page everything looks cool um all right so if we simply close this we go ahead up here and if we go to the index right here i want to go ahead and grab uh this whole part right here i want to go to show.php all right so let's just paste this whole thing in all right so uh we're gonna change this query right here so we should go select all from categories or actually from story topics because we need to grab the topics where um let's see topic right here all right so where uh, the category is equal to the name that we're gonna go ahead and grab 
all right using our own get sober global all right so i want this to be topics all right so this also topics all topics and topics right here all right so this part is done we're simply grabbing the data right now before we go ahead and do this i just want to go and grab my own name is the get sober global so if we go the name right here all right so if we go ahead and grab this whole part and if we paste it down here all right so we want to grab the name we get it through the url um so we're gonna go get name all right so there we go um uh, let's see right here all right so we look at this part user image topic all right so i would say that this part is done you know we only had to change um just the query and so on so if we save this if we now refresh so require header.php fill to open stream all right so we need to go a step back right here both for the config and for the header since we have that file inside another folder so save and refresh all right so we missed a couple of things up build to open stream no such file or directory yeah of course and we forgot this so save this whole thing refresh now all right so there we go uh we got this part right but we did not still we did not get um our own posts which is just where we should get one post at this part right here um so let's go right here select all from topics where category um equal to the name that we're getting um let's see all right so if we go right here so here's actually had the name category if we click on this we go ahead and grab the category keyword all right we go ahead and refresh if we try to access any one of those all right so it got this one yeah we do not actually have hey yo yeah this is this is pretty funny we do not have any posts or topics inside the design so sorry about that so yeah it's grabbing everything right here so except the image we have a problem with it but it's grabbing the title and it's grabbing you know um uh, the development which is right here uh, the category and it's grabbing the user right here and the date but this right here we also have a problem so count underscore replies uh, blah 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 at 43 yeah um all right we do not need to display the replies you know once we go ahead and do it and do this inside the categories all right so you know that's fine we already learned that so you can do it by by your own uh, on your own sorry you know because this will just take too much time and it's going to take another join query all right so i want to go to this part and i want to go ahead and remove it so save and for the image to simply solve the problem we're gonna just go a step back and the image will show up right away so there we go if we click on this we can go to this right here all right so topics slash topic all right we need to also go ahead and change this this will simply need a step back so save all right so if we simply go ahead right here and if we click on this so there you go we got you know our own uh single topic right here all right so if we click now on hosting we should get one uh, right here all right so clouds uh, and hosting posts if we click on marketing we're getting this post and if we click on seo we're also getting this post right here all right so all of those are fine and we're done with this part right here um and while we're at it we can fix you know if we simply go to the index once again you know this right here should go to the same page that we created uh this uh this part right here you know when we click on this we should also go to the show.php category so this is at the index so if we go right here um 
all right so there we go there is actually the page that we want to go to so go right here echo um app url let's echo out the for the full url so we're gonna go to slash categories right here and we're gonna go to slash show dot php and we're gonna pass in uh an id or parameter and we're gonna go ahead and echo out um the topic category all right so let's remove this part um topic category right here all right so great if we save this whole thing you know we can also copy it and paste it inside another page that i'm going to show you right now let's go ahead and just copy this all right so starting from uh starting from here all right so if we refresh if we click on this we should go and see this post if we go back once again to the index and if we click on this all right so here we go we got to um all right we got to the post and if we click on the c we should go to this post right here all right so now it's showing the posts inside every category that we have all right so yeah this is this is great this is amazing so if we go to show right now all right we got uh, this part right here all right so if we go to any one of those uh, right here all right we still got this link right here that needs to be changed um and uh, show that php page and the page that we just created so if we go right here and if we simply paste the code that i just gave you all right so still we still have the topic right here the topic object and we're just grabbing the category from it so this will be all save let's now refresh and if we simply go ahead right here all right so it's going to go to the same page which is just amazing you know if we click on this all right we click on this all right so yeah i would say you know that this is all what we need to do um in this video um and i'll see you on the next one all right so something else that we can take care of and that's actually creating a 404 page um so if you you know if you notice that when we click on any one of those we're basically going to um, a link like this so the user might be curious and he might like remove uh, the id right here and he might miss up you know our own links if we simply remove the id right here we can see that you know everything will basically rendered um as errors all right so this is just messed up and you can also do this now with um with any one of like uh, our categories right here you can simply remove the keyword name so this will miss this will still miss everything up right here so it doesn't even recognize uh the variable all topics all right so what we need to do is just go ahead and create in a 404 page so i got that this design right here so just go ahead and uh you know grab the code that i will give you uh inside uh you know for the resources the files or the resources sections uh section for this video i will give you the code so look up 404 uh, page um all right so if we go i want to go right here and i want to create it so 404.php so i want to paste this right away copy and paste this all right so there we go so if we save this whole thing it's gonna go still go to the header and it's gonna grab the config you know we do not even need the config right here um and you know it's gonna render this design right here which is pretty cool that will simply tell the user that you're going to um uh, that you're going to an unknown uh, place or unknown page and i want to like display this button right here or this link that will allow the user to go back to the home page all right so this is all and of course we're including the footer we can simply yeah let's you know let's keep it as it is or let's simply you know not require it for now let's see what's gonna happen so save this whole thing i want to go now to um let's see to the topics 
and if I go to topic.php, we can simply make use of this 404 page right here. Um, yeah, at every uh, Git global global right here that we're trying to get or, or that we're trying to grab. So we go ahead and go. Now, if this if the user did not, uh, if the URL has no ID right here, we're going to go ahead and trigger the 404 page. So we're going to go ahead um, and write in location. All right, so we're going to go ahead and concatenate the app URL. And we're going to go um, to slash 404.php. All right, so I don't want. I want to also um, do this to another page, and that is the show.php. Um, all right, so if we go else and paste this in, so save this whole thing. Um, also save this, and did we save this one right here? So let's just make sure. So save this whole thing. Let's now go ahead and refresh this. Um, I'm now on and define it constant uh, and show dot php on line 16 um app url yeah this is going to be url all right so save this right here also url save once again so if we try and refresh all right so as you can see the page that you're looking for doesn't exist so as you can see if we go home so you know this will do if we try to go ahead and also remove the idea right here all right so there we go the page that you're looking for does not exist you know which is just amazing so if we click go home as you can see we're going back um yeah so this is really important the 404 page right here um yeah i hope that you like this video and again just take check out the resources uh section for this video to find uh the code uh, right here all right so this will be all and i'll see you on the next video all right so now to this part which is the form statistics uh this should be pretty simple again we're just gonna count stuff that that's already there inside our own tables um so we better go to um order that a folder.php this is where we're gonna be working with so we're gonna go right here for forum that's and the first thing that we need to grab is the number of users so we're gonna go right here and user users right here so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the connection so query select count all from let's see users and we're gonna set up an alias for this as um users or just count underscore users all right so we can use it and print this later so for this right here we're gonna go users we're gonna go execute right here um and we're gonna go after this we're gonna go all users um it's going to equal users right here which and we're gonna go pdo which right here which as an object all right so great let's now grab this and go down at the bottom and if we go right here if we go hp echo all users and if we try to grab count underscore users all right so awesome so save let's now refresh so there we go we got two right here and we only got two users if you look at the far if you look at the form here if you go to the users table all right so this is being pulled dynamically so let's try and do the other ones so this is right here users count 
All right, so since the code it's going to be really similar, I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, copy this and paste. All right, so there we go. Right here, so this will be, huh, what else do we have? All right, so this is the topics right here. Um, so I'm going to go select count all from topics. So this will be just topic uh, or topics right here. Um, all right, so I want to keep this so it will be count topics. This is also topics and topics. And right here, this will be topics with a big T. Um, all right, so let's go down at the bottom. Let's go at the number right here. Go PHP echo and all topics. Count underscore topics right here. All right, so this is great. Let's also do this for the last one. Um, and that is um, the categories right here. So this will be categories. Do we have this right here? Yeah, we have this. So we cannot choose uh, this once again. We cannot choose this variable name since we're already in the same page. So we will name this so it will be um, categories underscore account all right so i want to go ahead categories paste this and paste this once again so select count all as count categories now categories count right here from um from the categories table so this will be categories right here all right so this is great uh so this will be all um categories right here all categories underscore count i know these are like weird names you know you can choose your own names but we have we already have this right here so this is why i cannot choose it choose it all right so this will be count topics and this will be count uh, categories all right so yeah this will be all i want to grab this go at the bottom once again and go right here php echo this and i want to grab alias from it so if we go right here there is our own alias you can of can of course choose the name of your aliases but i would like to keep them re very relevant so save this let's now go ahead and refresh all right so as you can see all right so uh and define the property all topics in line 53 all right we got actually our own um, our own uh, statistics, statistics uh, sorry, just fine. So I want to just check for this right here, for this error. So it says at 53. Um, so what do we have? All topics. Um, and define the property all topics oh. all topics and topics right here yeah we chose hmm. all right so all topics yeah we actually we chose the name it shows this name once again so we we should not we shouldn't do this so i want to keep this as just count all right so i want to copy this you know to differentiate them or you know this one right here will overwrite the one 
all right that looks like it so just go ahead and add the word count to it like this let's go out down at the bottom and let's change this all right like this and save let's now go ahead and refresh all right so there we go we have to write different variable names or they will simply uh, overwrite each other so yeah this will be all and i will see you in the next video all right so i want to move now to another part right here and that is uh, the part that's related to the users so we will probably just um create a page for the users to allow them to edit some of their information so we're going to allow the user um to edit his um his about the about section right over here and we're going to allow them to simply edit the email all right uh nothing else all right we're not going to update the name or the or the username right over here because uh those are related to the session and you know uh this will cause us problems if we if we did uh, that all right so this is going to be pretty similar since you know uh, this is going to be pretty similar to updating the posts if we click on update right here um all right so there we go we can simply grab this and we can actually work with it right away all right so if we simply go to um topics and we go update let's go ahead and copy this whole thing and you know i want to go ahead and create a folder for this so this will be users dot you know just users this is a folder and we're going to go right here and go edit you now dash user dot php all right so um we want to go and link to this so if we go to the header dot php and i want to comment this and for this link i want to go right here and name this edit profile all right so i want to link to this i want to grab this right here and i want to go to users slash edit dash user right over here dot php and i want to pass in the id for the user you know so we can know to which id that we're trying which uh, profile that we're trying to edit all right or which user data that we're trying to edit so if we go ahead and echo out um the session right here since we grabbed the id um if we go right over here pause and if we go to login you can see that we have the user id right here all right so if we simply paste this in all right so here we go edit dot dash user dot php um so this will be all just save go ahead right over here and refresh all right so if we just hover over this as you can see right over here if we try to click it so we're going now to a blank page which is just what we want so this is working perfectly let's now close this and let's go to edit dash user dot php uh, let's go once again and try to grab um the edit page or the update page right here copy this and let's close and now let's paste this in all right so if we go at the top all right so we don't want anybody to access this unless he's actually um unless he is uh, he's logged in so this is fine and now let's go ahead and uh, grab uh, the id that we're passing in through the link and here we are we grabbed it um and this is the part all right so huh. you can simply remove this whole thing um or we can actually use it so let's comment this for now and we're gonna go right here we select all from users where the id is equal to the id and then we're going to select and this right here should be user all right and after this we're going to fetch and we're going to fetch one row at a time all right so we want to go at the bottom and um for the form and we want to change this we don't want to change and we're not going to keep this as title of course because this is the user table so we want to go user actually and right here we're going to go ahead and uh change what we want to allow him to simply edit the email all right and we're going to remove this part right here 
all right um and this right here will be the about um so all right so let's actually go back so sorry about that um so for the part right here we want to go ahead and give the value um so this should be user and this should be about right here all right so we want to also change the names while while we're at it so we can finish up the form all right so the name for this it should be about and you know this should be submit that's fine um all right and this right here the name for uh this for the input should be email all right so this enter email all right so i would say you know that for the form then everything looks fine of course we will still have to finish this part but let's just save for now and let's check out the form and the data so if we refresh this so as you can see we got um we got this part right here you know the design is messed up a little bit but you know who cares just you know we want to go ahead and update for now and we will take care of uh, this uh, later the design later all right so topic title right here and we got the body so here we go everything is awesome so let's now go ahead and just finish this up so after we fetch the data and we put it inside the values uh, inside the inputs let's go ahead and simply uh, check so we want to check for only two things and that is uh, those uh, the email and um, the about all right so here we go um so after this we're also gonna grab those two pieces of data if we get them with our own sober global which is the post sober global after this we're gonna go ahead and go to the query and we will have two things right here so there is the email and there is the about All right, so let's simply, you know, remove those, and we're gonna go where ID is equal to the ID that we're grabbing. All right, and that is the ID up, the ID up there. All right, so I'm sensing that we have an error. So let's, yeah, we forgot to close this double quotation. So if we go down here we're now executing we want to go ahead and just do this for email and out and just remove the rest and after this we're going to go back um to the index page that's fine um so we want to look at the form right here all right so this will go to update.php and we will give it the id right here which is fine and the method is post so all of this is fine so let's save this whole thing let's simply go ahead and refresh all right so there we go we want to go ahead and change um let's see we want to change the body we are going to make it a little bigger so if we copy this paste right here all right so we click on update all right so um the requested url was not found all right so app url um yeah we should change this right here all right so edit user this is the name of our own page it was not update so save let's go back once again refresh all right so when i go ahead and grab the body let's paste this in if we click on update all right so there we go we're going back to the index page once again so this is a good sign if we go ahead all right so as you can see the body now is changing we go ahead and click on browse all right so it, now it's being updated successfully so this is fine uh this is fine so yeah everything looks great in the next video we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on um what's going on with this uh, with this design all right so all right so this will be it and i'll see you on the next video
All right, so now I guess that we don't have uh, much to do in the user start. The user start. All that we need to do is now create just a profile, a public profile page, and that will be all. But in this video, I want to go ahead and just fix and add a couple of things. If we simply uh, edit the profile, if we go and edit the profile uh, for this guy right here, we can see that we um, we you know I just left this part you know for doing the design in the last video to this video right here so if we go edit dash user dot php you know it was pretty simple we only need to remove uh this div right here so just go ahead and save all right so save this whole thing and the design will be just fine all right something else that we need to take care of um right here that we need to validate if the user that's trying to edit um this information right here is actually the user that's logged in or not because now if we try to type like one right here we can simply go to the first user and update his data all right which is just messed up so we want to validate for the session right over here um all right so we need to go ahead and just decomment this part and we need to add this to be user since we already grabbed the information for the user right here can just go ahead and make use of this code right away so this will actually be the id so if the id that's you know that's coming from the database does not match the one inside the session that means that this guy is trying to update a, a data some data that's not his or, or some profile that's not his so we're gonna you know we're gonna make him go back to the index page so save this whole thing let's now refresh as you can see we're going back to the index page once again we try to edit this um looks like we got a problem so user id right here does not equal the one yeah this should actually be id all right not username so or even if we go to login i just want to make sure it's the id or not it's actually user id not id all right so save right here so let's now go ahead and try to access this so as you can see we're now going to our own page uh, and we can add uh, we can edit uh, the body and the email right here all right so this should be actually um if we go down this should be email and this should be about all right so save let's now go ahead and refresh all right so that's fine now let's try and go to the id of one which will allow us to update the data for some other user Right here as you can see we're getting back to the index page so this is working this is working fine it's working perfectly um all right something else that we need to take care of if we go ahead to create a topic right here we can see that we have uh the category the categories right here they're being uh they're being displayed uh, in, in the select box aesthetically still so we want to go ahead and you know display them dynamically all right so this uh, shouldn't take too much work um if we simply go ahead they're actually in the create.php so we want to go at this part right here so we're going to go grabbing categories we want to go right here and go categories select Right, equal uh, connection query select all categories right here all right select all from categories right over here so we're gonna go categories select and we're gonna go execute right here so we want to go all categories i'm just gonna write cats like this just as a short all right so this will be this will allow us to simply go ahead and fetch all video um fetch underscore o p g all right so this will simply be all if we copy this part and if we try to go at the bottom right here so here are our own categories 
I want to remove all of these right here. I'm going to only go for the one that we have. So you can simply go right here. This is not echo. This should be a for each. For each right here. All cats as cat. No, they're weird names, but you know, can type any names that you like. Oh, we want to go ahead right here. Just do cat and let's grab the name from it. And we want to also put this inside the value right here. No, because the select is actually going to grab um, the data from the value. All right. So after this, we're going to go ahead, go end for each. Save. All right. So if we refresh, all right. So there we go. We got our own, um, our own categories names dynamically, which is awesome. All right. So this will, this will be all. Now, this is what I want to do in this video. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and take care of the profile page. Uh, the public profile page is going to be really, really simple. We're not gonna create something that's you know too fancy. All right and yeah i will see you in the next video all right so now let's go ahead and create a public profile page you know that's going to be really really simple so just go ahead um and grab the code that i give you in the resources file you know it's going to be a page named like profile.php and go ahead to the users right here and just paste it all right it's going to be a pretty simple page right here um, if we try to access it, we should go to users folder first and we can go simply to profile.php is right here. All right, so this is what our uh, profile page look like. I know it's pretty simple, but again, as I told you, uh, we're not going to do something fancy with it. So we're going to display the number of posts and the number of replies right over here. And we're going to display the image, the about, and uh, the name right here. All right, and that will actually uh, be all. You want you want to add something if you want to create something something fancy you just go go ahead and do this on your own all right you know what matters right here is the functionality all right so if we go ahead and if we go to includes and we want to link this to a page because of course we're gonna grab the data uh, for every user so we want to go ahead and just grab this part right here and paste it right here and I want to name this so it will be public profile all right and i can go ahead right here and i can grab this part and i can paste it right here all right so i want this to go to profile right here dot php um all right so this part right here we i want to pass in uh the username actually all right and you will know why in a, in a second so I want to also call this um, name. All right. So yeah, this should be this should be all. So save this whole thing. You know, we go ahead now and refresh. Let's go ahead and hover over this. As you can see, we're getting we're going to the profile that page. If you look at the bottom, and we are simply going ahead um, and we're grabbing the name as a parameter. So if we click on this. So we're simply going to the same page. You know, this is the design uh, that we're, uh, that this is the design of our own page. So we're actually going to it profile.php and we're sending the name right here. All right, so great. Let's now close this and let's go to users dot suit users and let's go to profile.php. So here is the design of our own page. Pretty simple. I already put everything, you know, uh, in the page you know the includes um the, the header and the config and of course the footer so let's go ahead right away and do the functionality of our own website so if we go right here it's going to be kind of similar to the edit so we want to go ahead and grab uh, this part right here all right so copy this and let's go right here and paste all right so we're going to leave this part because this is important you know it's telling it's basically checking uh, if the user is trying to log this page while he's logged 
in or not so if he's logged out we're gonna go ahead and send him back to the to the index page otherwise we're gonna go ahead and grab uh the name that we have all right so copy this paste right here and right here um and now we're gonna go ahead and just do our own query so select all from a users that's fine where you know the user name right here is equal to the name all right that's what uh, we're grabbing so great after this we're executing and we're going ahead and we're simply um doing the fetch all right um so fetch user that's fine we're gonna remove this because we simply do not need it um after this we're gonna go ahead and just simply echo out the data all right so we go ahead php echo user and we're gonna grab the name for this so let's copy this part right here and let's go down all right so this will simply allow us to grab the image so we paste this in and if we simply go ahead and just write an image and this part right here is concerned with the part of the username so this right here should be user name right here um all right so this will actually go to the same page uh so i want to go ahead and add the name it's going to equal and we're going to add this right here um so this i want to go ahead and go for the header so yeah this is actually going to the username all right so we can grab the session you know that's fine um so if we simply paste oh if we simply paste this right here that's fine all right so after this we have the about so if we copy this part and paste this right here all right so if we go right here this will be about all right so there we go uh after this we're grabbing the number of posts and replies let's just leave them for now and let's see what we got so let's save this whole thing let's go ahead right here and just refresh all right so we're getting the username and we're getting the about you know and that's all fine but there's something wrong with the image so let's see what we got um so we're going to image and we're simply going to echo user image right here um if we go a step back we will go to the image right here uh, let's go ahead and check for something at the user stable all right so if we go right here yeah again this is avatar not image so if we go ahead and paste this save let's go ahead and refresh now so as you can see we got this right here all right so you know this is fine this is looking great we want to now grab the posts number of posts and the number of uh, replies right here all right so we should go at the bottom uh sorry we should go at the top right here and we want to go number of uh topics equal connection right here all right so this will be query select all from um topics where uh user underscore name equal to the name right here all right so we want to count this because we're returning a number so count all as uh number underscore topics all right um so after this we're gonna go ahead right over here number underscore topics and we will go skew it and we will go right here all underscore number underscore topics equal to number underscore topics right here so this will simply go fetch 
and we, this will go pdo fetch object right here all right so this will be all we simply grab this part um let's go down at the bottom now uh, let's go php echo um this right here um topics would be topics like this if i want to go up there once again and i want to paste this this is the new name and i want to grab the number right here all right so if we go and paste this in all right so if we save this whole thing we go ahead right here and refresh all right so number of posts uh, is simply uh three now let's go at the topics right here all right so if we go at topics we actually got yeah we got three uh topics right here with this um user name right over here so you know this is fine this is cool now this is what we want to get all right so let's you know do the same for the replies so if we go ahead right here um number of topics for every user let's copy this let's paste it right here all right so for a number of uh, replies all right so this will be replies right here and right here and right here and from right here this should be also replies where user underscore name we go to replies right here all right we're gonna see user underscore name right here all right so we're gonna match with this right away so after this we're gonna go ahead and also rename this so it will be replies this is also replies all right so all of this now is fine it's great uh, we're gonna go at the bottom again we can copy this part um then go right here php echo all number replies right here number underscore replies all right so save this whole thing um i'm gonna keep this so it will actually be topics all right so save let's now go ahead and refresh all right so number of replies is basically one um if we go to replies right here we're gonna see that yeah we got only one reply with this username right here which matches this one right here all right so this is what we're gonna do again this will actually allow you to go to the same uh page you know again so if we go to the forum and if we go to any one of those uh, right here we can see that we have also a profile link right here we can that we can make dynamically um all right so yeah if we go ahead we are in topic.php um all right so if we go to topics and if we go to topic.php and if we look up the word let's click control f and if we go profile.php all right so there we go we can go right here and add in uh, a name and we're gonna make this so it will equal to we're gonna echo out um single topic right here yeah here's actually the username that we want to grab all right so save this whole thing right here and let's now refresh all right so simply we can go now to the user uh to the public profile of the other user all right so yeah we still have would like to fix the link first so if we go right here right so this is arabic not a good time to write arabic huh so if we go echo right here app url 
slash profile.php uh, we still have to go to the users folder and go to slash profile.php after that so save uh, let's now go ahead refresh all right so if we click on this we should go to the profile of the other user right here which has this username but if we click on this so as you can see we got uh the about for him and we got uh the image we got also um we got this right over here and that is uh the username and we got the number of replies and we got the number of uh, uh the number of topics and the number of replies i should fix this right here now but the important thing that we got the profile working right in the topic.php page all right um so i want this to be replies right here all right so save refresh this all right so now it's working perfectly um so right here if we actually hover over this you can see that we're going to our own profile all right not this guy's profile all right we still have to go to this profile right over here right to this guy not to other profile so we're possibly fetching this with the session and we should not fetch this with the session right here we should fetch it with the username that's coming from here so let's remove this and let's simply um paste this in so save um all right so if we refresh you can see now if we hover over this now we're going to this profile right here for this guy who has this image and who has this username all right and if you find uh, the word profile in some other uh, page you know other than the topic and other than uh, the profile page just go ahead and um and change it just like here maybe all right you might go ahead and actually change this and uh, show.php right over here all right i don't think that this is now really hard for you we can we can simply do it together if we go to show.php um show.php it's inside the categories show.php right here and if we go down over here all right so um we're simply putting this yeah um so where is it so it's you no know, it's right here category all right so show dot php let's write add the category all right so yeah here we go kind of hard to find so if we want to go ahead and echo out um the app uh app url go to slash users right here slash profile dot php so great we want to also pass in the name as a parameter and we want to go ahead and pass in uh the dynamic data right here so we look at here so yeah this is coming from topics all right so we want to grab this let's go right over here um so we want to paste this in plus we need the user underscore name all right so save let's now go ahead and refresh all right so huh go online online 47 so this will go profile.php name going to equal this right here hmm what's going on exactly oh well, if we cut this all 
right so all topics user underscore name yeah it's not all topics it's just topic right here all right so save let's refresh all right so there we go if we hover over this we should go to this guy's um this guy's profile so as you can see now we're going to his profile if we try this to some other um guy's profile all right so we still have like to finish this part at the index.php you know just go ahead and do it right now yeah you know i did it a couple of times um in this video all right so it's in the index.php right here just go ahead and make this whole thing dynamically all right so this will be all and i'll see you on the next video all right so i would say with the last video um we actually finished the user site and now it's time to go ahead and simply take care of um the admin panel so this is the design that we have for our own admin panel right over here so we will have you know a, a couple of links right here on the side we will have a login page we'll have a home page of course and we will have uh, this menu right here for the admin name actually there is um the login page and there is the index page right here we will have a couple of statistics about our own uh, app we have the topics and the number of topics categories admins and replies and if we just click on any one of those links we will go um some uh, sub links right here for the admins if we go right here we will go to this page where we show our own categories we can delete update or create new categories and if we click on this we can simply show the topics or we can simply delete them um and this right here will allow us to also show the replies and uh show uh, you know show a couple of things about the replies and we can go to the topic that's related to this reply or we can simply delete it right over here uh so this is going to be our own admin panel it's really uh really simple and practical you know i use this um i use this admin panel at you know a couple of my projects it's pretty it's really uh, practical and easy to work with uh so just find uh, the code for this in the resources uh, section for this video you know or anywhere that you know you can find it um you you will easily you will easily find it you know so yeah this is what we're gonna be working with and in the next video we're gonna go ahead and work with it right away all right so now let's go ahead and work with this so just copy the code that i give you copy the whole folder and go to your ht docs right here in exam um now let's go to our own uh road folder right here for the form folder you wouldn't you know which which is the name of our own project and let's simply paste this in all right so there we go admin dash panel all right so i want to go ahead and open this up with vs code all right so there we go the first thing that we need to work with is of course the header and the footer files uh because you know they're different from uh from the user side all right so if we go ahead right here and i want to name this as layouts all right so this is not a file so sorry about that it's actually a folder um all right so i want to go right here and i want to create this so this will be layouts all right so let's create a header and a footer all right so there we go and I, of course we're not going to create um a config file because it's already created for us in the config all right uh, the config file will handle both uh, the users and and the admin uh, and the admin panel all right so after this i want to go ahead to the index that html right here and i want to grab you know the part right here starting from this class uh, container dash fluid so this will be the header right over here and again i do not need to tell you why we're creating a header and a footer file well if you're not following along from the beginning it's because you know this will save us a lot of time and effort you know we we're not going to keep a repetitive code inside our own website all right so let me grab this whole thing cut and paste right here and save all right and since this part right here is commented let's just leave it so save this whole thing let's now go ahead to this and just change the name for it to php um all right 
and we want to go ahead at the the top and go php require and now let's try our own um header and footer layouts slash header dot php all right so let me copy this part right here let's go down at the bottom and just paste it so this will be footer all right so since we have the layouts folder in the root right here and we're working with the index we can just go to it right away all right so save let's now go ahead and try to access this uh, through our own local host so if we go right here um and if we go local host slash forum um all right so here we should have a slash and if we go to admin dash panel and after this we're gonna go right away php all right so it's downloading i just give it a time All right, so it's just all right so there we go now it's working perfectly you know which means you know that the header and the footer files are working you know perfectly so we're not gonna miss anything up you know the design or anything so let's actually um go ahead and start working with our own login page now um all right so close every and each one of those if we go to admins right here we're gonna go ahead and lo and work with login dash admins and of course uh, we're not going to create a, a register page for the admins all right because you don't want to don't want anybody to go ahead and register as an admin and just um, you know log in right away uh, all right so we're going to go ahead and create only a login page for the admins and you know once we are uh, inside the admin panel we can use this page right here which is create dash admins to create admins to create emails and passwords and you can give it to the people who wants to be uh, admins on your website all right so we want to go ahead and remove this and add the header and the footer just like what we did um, for the index. All right, we're going to do this at possibly every page that we have. All right, so we want to go ahead and first change this to PHP. Um, you should actually go a step back since, you know, the layouts folder inside is inside, um, is inside the, the root file. And we want to go down here. All right, so I want to go ahead and remove this part and add this. So we want this to be footer.php. All right, so save this whole thing. Let's now try to access this. So if we go um, to admins right here, slash, um, let's see what we have. The name of the page is login-admins.php. So I want to go ahead and copy this whole thing and I want to access this. All right, so there we go. We get, we went to the login-admins right here. And I know that, you know, that the design is kind of messed up a little. Uh, the menu that was on the side right here, uh, actually now it's in the nav bar or in the header, which is messed up and the login, um, the login form is messed up, you know. But you know we're working with back end right now we do not care that much about design we're gonna fix this later all right so we want to go ahead and work with the back end for the login page so this right here i want to grab the config you know and i want to also to grab the config once again i think i need to go another step back right here all right to access the config folder so this is fine this is um this is great and you know we do not need to go ahead and create uh or write the logic from scratch for the login we already have it you know if we go to us right here if we go to login.php you can see that this is the logic that we have for the login so i want to go ahead and copy this whole part copy and go right here under this and just paste all right so if we look down here this is the part for the session we're not going to work with sessions just now if we look down here we can see that we're checking for from submission and after this we're checking for the email and the password and this is what we need 
so if any one of those are empty we're gonna go ahead and trigger this alert um and after this if none of them are empty we're gonna just grab them and paste them inside two variables right here just the email and the password and that's fine after this we're gonna go ahead and go select all from and this should be the admins table where the email equals is equal to the email right right over here so now we're checking for the email and after this we're going to execute the query and after this we're going to fetch all right and after this we're going to go ahead and check for the query if this query is returning a number or not with the row count function and i explained this in details uh, in the you know in the beginning of this course all right so if it's returning a number that means that you know we have a valid email right here that the user is entering a valid email so we're going to go ahead and validate now for the password so for the password right here we're using the password verify function all right and the password verify function simply going to go ahead and take the password that the user entered which is right here right and it's going to hash it and match it with you know with the hash from inside uh, you know from the database uh, pre-existing hash inside the database of course uh, because of course the user is not going to write a hash so we need uh, you know it's going to write a raw password uh, that's right over here so we're going to take the raw password and we're going to match it with the pre-existing hash inside our own table all right so if this is working you know no sessions for now as i said i want to go ahead and display something like this i want to copy this part and i want to go ahead and just comment this also so i want to paste this in and i want to go logged and which means you know that we're logged in now since the user since the email is valid and the password is valid all right so yeah we're gonna keep this this right here as it is so for the login um that's no we're let's look at the form so we have the message as uh, the message that's post and we have the action we have you know this is where we have our own um logic so this will be login dash admins.php um all right so the input type is email right here and the name is email and the password type right here um the type here is password for this input and the name is password that's fine and the buttons the type is submit and the name is submit all right so you know everything here looks great all what we need to do right now is just create this right here this table so let's go ahead and just go php my admin um right here let's just go ahead to this localhost slash php my admin all right so let me just give it a second until you know it loads up all right so now we're back you know if we look up over here we can see that here we are here we are we have our own database so let's go ahead and and create uh this table which is admins so just paste this in um this right here it's going to be id it's going to be integer it's going to be five um and i want this to be auto increment as always and the index is going to be a primary key so it will be a unique value and this right here will be an email um it's going to be a varcar 200 for the links um right here this is going to be admin name not username of course um all right so this will be a varcar also it will be 200 and this right here it's going to be the password all right for the password it's going to be varcar 200 after this we're going to go ahead and add one more uh column for the date so it will be created at and the created at is a time of you know as a type of timestamp and uh it's going to be a current timestamp for the default all right so if we click on save all right so there we go we got our own table right now and we have to insert something of course because now we're just going to go ahead and validate for data so this data has to be exist first in order to actually go ahead and validate it all right because again no registration page um all right so if we go ahead to the users right now since we need to grab some email and password then we're just going to go to the users um all right so I want to go ahead actually and copy one of these hashes right here all right so you know because again we need a hash we need a hash for the you know we need a hash inside our own table right over here we're not just going to go ahead and insert some raw data because it's already grabbing 
it's already grabbing some hash right here with this uh, piece of code all right so it's going to grab the hash from the column password right here and it's going to match it with the password that we're going to be entering all right and we already know uh we already know the password for, for this right here which is the same as the email all right uh so i hope this makes sense so we want to go ahead and insert now all right so for the email uh we're going to insert this hash at the password and for the admin uh, name right here i'm going to keep it as admin uh dot first at gmail dot com and i'm gonna go ahead copy and paste you know i'm gonna keep the admin name the admin name and the email the same all right so i want to go ahead now and click on go all right so there we go if we click on browse all right so here we are now let's go ahead and try to log in with this right here um i want to first just refresh this so if i go ahead and paste this in and again the password right here we took the hash so we better go ahead and grab uh, the password for this and the password the username the email and you know and the name they're basically all the same if you remember all right so let me just go ahead and paste the password right here and if i click on login all right so now it's telling me not found so it looks like we redirected this to um to a non-existing page so login yeah we did not save just yet you know we did not save when we wrote this part for the action all right so we better go back and now it will work all right so if we refresh this once again let's simply paste the password now let's go ahead and grab the email all right so if we log in all right so as you can see logged in which is just amazing now the login page is simply working all right so this is what we need to get done in this video and in the next one we're going to take care of uh, we're going to start the sessions and val start validating for our own uh, login system. All right, so now it's time to go ahead and start the sessions and we will go ahead and validate a couple of things along the way. All right, so if we go down here, we can see in the last video that we commented these parts right here for the session. So let's go ahead and decomment uh, them. Um, so if we just go ahead, we only want like the admin name right here as a session all right so um let's keep this as admin name also um yeah and we also would probably will grab the email you know so let me just go ahead and paste this in and we can simply get out of the rest you know or just uh delete sorry delete the rest we do not need it even if we need it we're just gonna go ahead and write it once again you know that's fine and basically we're gonna remove this part and if we go right here i want to go ahead and decomment this part so after we log in um naturally we're gonna go ahead to the index page but this is the index page for uh the user's end so i want to go ahead and create my own um my own new uh, constant for uh, for the you know for the admins uh, panel for the admin panel all right so if i go ahead to uh, the layouts right here if i go ahead to the header i want to go ahead and create it right here because you know this page is already uh is already included at every page that we have the header all right so it will give us access to this so i want to go ahead and define um uh, let's say admin url all right, so this will take the value of this link right here. All right, so there we go. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and start the session, all right? Because we cannot work with the session if we did not start it. All right, so there we go. Let's save this whole thing. All right, so. I would say now that we're ready to go with the session. So since we already grabbed the admin name right here, I want to go ahead at the header and I want to go ahead at the menu and just go uh, and um and echo it out. All right, so I want to go ahead right here um and I want to go PHP echo session right here admin name. All right, so there we go. Let's simply go ahead and save uh and save this whole thing all right 
So let me now go ahead and try to refresh this. All right, so warning. Yeah, it's giving us an array because, uh, sorry, it's giving us an error because we're echoing out this right here and we did not start the session just yet. So let's go ahead and click. Uh, all right. All right, so let me just go ahead and comment this for now. All right, so if we refresh this, let's now go ahead and start um and start logging in so if we copy this right here and paste this in so this is um this is the email and if we grab the password right here go ahead and log in all right logged in it looks like we did not save this page so just save this page right here um all right so let me go ahead and click on go all right so if we simply go ahead if we try to decomment this bag save we go ahead and refresh all right so we're still getting the error commented once again so let's refresh this now let's go ahead and grab the email once again and paste and for the password copy and paste and let's click on login all right so right here uh, we're getting an error on line 40. Login dash admins. Tab URL. Yeah, this right here should be now since we created this. This should be admin URL. All right. So let's go ahead and refresh this once again copy paste copy this paste let's now click on login all right so we're going to the index page for the users uh for the admins panel and if we go ahead and i want to go and simply the comment this and save let's now go ahead and refresh all right, so there we go. We got our own admin name right here uh, through the session. So this is working perfectly, you know. Um, yeah, of course, we're going to go. We need to go ahead and validate a couple of things since we, you know, um, since we equate out the session and uh, the a variable from the session and it's working proper, uh, pro properly. Um, all right, so we should not allow the user to simply see the login, uh, the login right over here this uh login link or even go to the page when we're logged in right so there is you know so uh, you know the, the only role about the admin panel is uh when the user is logged in he can see everything every page that he wants except this login page right here and when he's logged out he can only see just this page he's not even gonna access the the index page right here for the admin panel all right again when he's logged out he's only gonna see one page and one page only and it's going to be the login page right here. All right. So we want to go ahead and check for the session, you know. But uh, probably, uh, uh, probably before we even do this, we can go ahead and work with the logout page. So if we look down here, we got the logout page inside the header.php. All right. So we want to go ahead and simply link to this. And we're just going to copy and paste the code. It's no big deal. We've done this uh, a couple of times right now. So if we go right here, um, uh, you know, if we just echo out uh, the ad, you know, the URL directory or the base directory right here, if we go to admins, and we're gonna go um, to logout.php. All right, so we're gonna go to this folder, which is right here, and we're gonna create this file so if we simply go ahead and just paste this in all right so there we go if we also go to auth right here we're going to see that we have this right here so copy this um, and paste it right here so we're going to start the session unset it and destroy it and then we're going to go back once again i want to go back um if we copy this whole thing and if we paste it right here all right, so after we go to the admin panel, admin dash panel, again, I want to go only to login 
um, dash admins dot php right here all right so save this whole thing you know and save this part right here now let's simply go right here and refresh all right so if we go down here we're gonna go ahead and click on logout all right so um forum admin dash panel and all right so admin dash panel yeah we forgot the admins folder you know so we should go to the admins folder first all right and after this we're gonna go to the login uh, dash admins.php so save all right so if we simply go ahead once back all right so the session is destroyed right now so this is why it's actually uh showing us this all right so if we go ahead to login we go ahead to admins slash login.php right here all right so again it's showing us this error so we want to validate for this error right now so we can get rid of this whole thing so we want to validate it um so if we go to header.php right yeah the, the whole error is because of this because the session now is destroyed the the login page is actually working you know but it did not direct the right way since we you know we wrote we, we wrote uh, the directory right here wrong but it's working fine it's working fine so let's go ahead and validate for this so i want to again as i told you when the user is logged out he's only going to see this page so i want to grab this or actually yeah i want to go ahead and grab this and just place it up there so i want to go f um php f is set right here so if the session is set admin name right here if it's actually unset all right that means that we don't have we, that we do not have a session or the session is destroyed we're gonna go ahead and echo the login uh the login link out all right otherwise we're gonna go ahead and display the rest right here which is the whole link and the menu for the user all right because this guy now is logged in so if we go ahead and f all right so this this will be all no i would say um so save this whole thing if we now refresh this error should go away all right and you know why because we're logged out right uh, we're logged uh, out right now all right so if we go ahead and try to log in once again so I'll copy this and this is the email if we log in right here all right so we're going to the index page once again we have the admin we have our own admin names for the session it's working perfectly if we click on this so as you can see where the session is destroyed we're going back to login-admins.php and we're only showing the login link right here which is awesome all right so yeah i would say that this is all but again you know the user you know if we go ahead once again and log in like a login all right so now we're going to the index page you know it's and it's all fine the user can go ahead right here or the admin can go right here and try to access the login page and he will actually he will actually be able to access it so as you can see we still have uh, the admin name right here through the session and we have the link for the home and he can still access the login page so this is messed up we should not allow this um so i want to go to, to the login dash admins page itself I want to go at the top. We can see that we commented this code. So I want to decomment this code and I want to go right here if the session um if the session is set right here and this is and this should be admin name. All right, we're going to go ahead back to the login, you know. If the session is set, yeah, we should go back to the index page. All right, so the index page right here should be admin url all right so this will prevent the user to go go directly from uh from here to uh, this will prevent the user from going to the login dash admins right away all right through the link all right so save this whole thing 
uh, if we simply go ahead and try to refresh all right so we're going back so to the index page once again which is just amazing so we're done with this part right here uh, for uh, for validating the login page and for the sessions all right so in the next video we're going to finish uh, this whole thing up all right so now let's go ahead and finish the login uh, up uh, so in the last video we went ahead and we validated uh, the login uh, the login page the login dash admins page right over here if we go right over here and if we go to admins we go we go to this right here we validated uh, this with the session so we checked if the user is already logged in or not and if he's logged in we're gonna get him back to the index page right so we want to check for the opposite what if we are logged out and we want to access the admin page what exactly is going to happen so let's go ahead and try to log out let's now try to access um to the law the index page so as you can see right here we still can access the index page despite the fact that we're actually uh, logged out which is just messed up because again the user can only uh, when the user is logged out can only access the login page right over here so we want to validate this uh, right here so we're going to copy this code that's in the login-admins.php and we're going to go to the index and we're simply going to reverse it all right and this will solve the problem so if we go down here and just paste this in i want to go ahead and do an exclamation mark right here so it will reverse this so if we do not have a session uh we're going to go back right over here and we're going to go back to admins slash log and dash admins dot php all right so this is cool if we simply save this whole thing and if we go now and refresh all right so there we go we're going back to login dash admins dot php because now we're simply logged out so we can only see this page all right so yeah we also want to go ahead and simply um, validate uh, or actually uh, fix uh, the design uh, right over here for this. If we simply go ahead and try to inspect right here, we can see that, you know, that, you know, that's not seeing the style.css right over here. All right. So we should fix uh, the style.css. Um, so if we go to layouts and if we go to header. Um, all right. So there is the part. So if we simply go ahead right here and go php echo admin url and if we go slash styles slash style.css so this will redirect uh, this will get uh, uh the, the style.css that's in the styles um folder right here all right so if we simply save this whole thing and if we refresh now all right so there we go we're actually uh, right now huh so this part right here should not pop up when we go to login dash admins.php all right this part right here shouldn't pop up so yeah we did not validate this part just yet all right so we need to validate this so this part right here should only pop up when the user is logged in but we're logged out right now we can access the login dash admins.php all right so if we go to the header we're going to find this part which is right here um so i want to go yeah i want to go right over here and i want to go php f s that um session right here admin name all right if this if the session is set you know we're simply gonna go ahead um and echo out or show this whole code otherwise we're we're not gonna do actually anything you know because this will simply solve the problem so end f all right so save this whole thing let's simply go ahead and refresh all right so there we go this is we should grab this and keep it at, at the top of the uh, of the ul right here all right and we can also grab this and keep it down here so save you know fresh all right so there we go now everything looks perfect again a user can only 
like access this page when he's logged out and he's logged out right now and he can access this if we simply try to access the index no he's not gonna he's gonna he's gonna go back right away um all right i want to also fix a couple of a couple of things about the links if we hover over this you can see that we're still going to an html page so i want to fix um i want to fix this part all right so i want to go ahead and copy this right here or even copy the whole url um all right so if we go if we go down here yeah this is the part where we're going to the home so it's just paste this right here um and this right here it's going to go to the login so this is what we need to fix so if we simply go ahead and p go php so now it's going to go right away well first of all to the base url then it to the folder which is admins and then to the page which, which is login dash admins dot php all right so if we save this if we also paste it right here because this is still the home page all right so yeah i guess that everything else you know we will we will we will edit a couple of things right here in this page we will still edit a couple of things but for now i would say uh, i would say that you know everything here looks perfect um so if we refresh this, if we click on this right now, all right, so it's going to the login dash admins.php, which is the page right here. So let me go ahead and log in. Let's see if everything is perfect or not. All right, so if we log in, all right, so there we go. Everything here looks perfect, you know. If we try to access uh, the, uh, the login dash admins page, we're going back to the index, and this will simply allow us to go to the index and this is also the link that we edited in just uh, just a couple of minutes all right yeah so this will be all for this video and in the next video we're gonna move to another part all right so now it's time to go ahead and get deeper with the admin panel um so if we click on the admins right here we're gonna go to an admins.html page right over here uh, so we want to go ahead and work with this uh, well first of all we're going to create the admins now or we're just gonna or we can even just uh display them for now it doesn't matter all right we're gonna do this in the next uh, video anyway or the next videos anyway all right so if we go right over here um if we go to admins i want to go ahead and just change this to admins dot php all right so there we go if we go also to the layouts right here if we go to the header all right so if we copy this part and yeah add login dash admins right here if we go right over here at the top and if we go slash admins slash admin uh, slash admins dot dot admins uh, admins dot php all right so there we go if we save this whole thing let's now go ahead and refresh this part if we click on this all right so admins.php which is great let's now go ahead to this page and start working with it so again we're gonna go ahead and remove the static part right here so we can upload uh, so we can um grab the header and the footer and of course the config file so let me copy this go at the bottom now let's go ahead and remove this part so this will be order.php right over here all right so great let's simply go ahead right over here and just create a symbol select query and that will be all actually all right so if we go right here um admins gonna equal connection right here query select all from admins right here we go admins cute and this right here will be all admins go into execute admins it's going to be admins um all right so this will be pitch all video right over here 
um and we're gonna go right and fetch and we, we want this to be fetched as a, um as an object all right so let me copy this part and if we go down at the bottom we go right here and go php echo out um all admins and we're gonna grab the admin or we're just gonna grab the id right here first after this we're gonna go ahead copy this and paste this in so this is the admin name all right so admin name right here i'm gonna also copy this and paste it right here um all right so after this we're only gonna have um the email all right so there we go and we do not need those two trs right here we already have one so save let's now go ahead and refresh all right so attempting to read property um all admins so connection query select all from admins so the admins right here we're gonna execute this and after this huh if we simply go ahead to login dash admins right here um fetch fetch all all right so if we simply go ahead right here and if we go var var dump and if we try to dump the all admins right here we save let's now refresh all right so yeah it's grabbing the data and everything is fine so yeah we did not do the 4h of course this is why it's triggering er, it's triggering an error so we want to go all admins as admin so sorry about that so if we grab this and paste it right here right here and right here all right so there we go we got our own admin we got our own admins right over here so let me comment this part all right so there we go in the next video we're gonna go ahead and create admins all right so now let's go ahead and take care of creating the admins which is right over here so this should go to a form which is create-admins.html um, of course, we're going to change this so it will be a PHP page. And there is actually, um, there is our own link. So if we go down here, and if we go and try to write in um, the admin URL that we have. All right, so if we go to admins folder, and if we go to create dash admins, and this will be PHP. All right, so yeah save this whole thing let's now go ahead and um rename this so it will be php page all right so here we go um if we go right here we go at the bottom again we can simply go ahead and remove this part and we can grab these all right so there we go if we cut we copy this um all right and if we remove this part and paste this in so this will be footer.php all right so save let's now refresh and if we hover over this we're simply going to go to create dash admins.php so if we click so there we go create admins right here so we got email username and password all right so you know we already have the logic for this because we created at the beginning of this course if we go to us if we go to register.php um yeah we can see that we have the logic right here so if we copy this part and if we go right here and paste it in um all right so this part right here it's going to check for the session all right so for the session i don't want i uh, again i don't uh, i don't want the user i don't want you know anybody to access this page unless he's simply logged in 
so we're gonna go right here um if this right here is not logged in if we do not have any session so the session should be admin url and this should be admin url right here so we're gonna redirect this back to admins slash um login dash admins.php all right so this this will be all you know for checking for the session and after this we're checking for a form submission right here so we should only check for um an email um we can remove this part so we will check for an email and for an admin for an admin name and also for a password and we do not need this about right here all right so there we go after this we're gonna simply trigger this symbol message which is an alert message if any one of those are empty um all right so after this um simply we're gonna remove the name right here and we're gonna remove the about and the avatar and the part for the directory all right so this part right here should be admin name um all right so yeah of course we're gonna hash the password because the password needs to be hashed even for the admins um all right so after this we're gonna go ahead and insert into and this will be simply the admins um table all right and this part right here we need to change this so this will be admin name and also this we have also the password so it's all fine it's all good all right so we need also to remove this part for the name and this right here um should be admin name all right so if we remove those two parts right here or these two pieces of data all right so again um we need to remove those right here and this right here where it's going to be removed and also yeah this right here should be admin name all right as this one and this one all right so there we go you know they're basically like any kind of creation any any kind of data creation that we did we are gonna go ahead grab the data and we're gonna create the query and we're gonna go ahead and you know uh, point out to the columns that we have and we're gonna do some handlers Right here so we do not insert the data right away inside our own database and we're gonna grab the handlers in the execute uh and we're gonna match them to the data that we grabbed right here all right it's pretty simple and repetitive after we insert we simply want to go back um to the admins dot php page which is the last page that we work with um all right so after this let's go ahead for the form so for the form uh the method is post and the action right here i want to keep it so it will be simply the same page so let's just copy this and paste and we do not need this part right here because we're not going to do anything with any image all right so yeah so the name is going to be email and the type is email that's fine and for this input uh type is text and the name right here is admin name because we changed it um up there up the page all right so for the placeholder we can also like keep this as an admin name and for the type password the name is password right here all right so this is all cool and the button right here type is submit and the name is submit all right so there we go now the part right here is done it's basically done so save this whole thing all right so if we refresh this all right so there we go now let's go ahead and create our own um now our, actually our second admin not our own first admin so if we go right here second uh, dot admin right here at gmail.com copy this part paste it right here again paste it right here for the password if we simply click on create all right so we're going to uh, going back to admins.php and here is our own new data here is our own new admin all right if we go to the admins table and let's see if it got inserted or not all right so there we go and the password is hashed also so 
yeah <coughs> excuse me so sorry about that so this will be all and i will see you in the next video all right so now let's go ahead and continue with working with this so now we're gonna go ahead and work uh with the part uh, of the index page right here for the admin panel all right so we're gonna display just we're gonna count a couple of stuff here and there and just paste them in going to be a really really simple uh, video and we did this actually a couple of times in this project in the user's end um all right before we go ahead and do this i just want to copy this part right here which basically protects uh, our own pages from the use uh, from uh, the logged out users all right so you can so you cannot access our own pages unless they're actually logged in so we will possibly go to admins and we will go to this part right here and we want this to be at the top of our own page so save this we already did it right here um and we're not gonna do it right here because we're doing a different code yeah and that will be all so don't forget to add this part at every page that we have all right from now on uh, i would say so if we just close those close this and close this and also this right here and simply the page that we are going to that we are going to be working with right now um is the index page which in which in the root of admin dash panel all right so here we go if we simply go ahead right here and try to grab uh what's the first thing that we have is simply topics so if we go topics right here is equal to connection query select all from uh topics right here and we're not just we're not just gonna go ahead and select we're gonna count as uh count underscore topics all right so you know this is simply it so this right here should be topics all right so topics right here and we're gonna go ahead and just execute this and this right here it's going to be all topics going to equal topics right here all right so for this we're going to just simply write the word fetch because we're only going to grab one value all right so after this we're going to go ahead and fetch underscore um object all right so if we copy this part and if we go right here and we simply type in echo all topics and we're gonna grab this right here count topics so yeah this will be all this is the part that we need uh to print out because again this is just an alias right over here all right in this query so save and let's go ahead and refresh all right so undefined variable connection you know we did not we did not go ahead and include the, our own config file just yet so we need to go a step back and we need to go config right here and we need to go to the config.php page so save this whole thing and if we go ahead and refresh all right so there we go number of topics now is four if we go um to the topics table all right so we got four topics so this is working perfectly um all right we're gonna do the rest for uh for the rest of the things that we have all right so if we paste this in so this right here it's going to be categories so copy this paste it right here um and right here all right so and also right here all right so this will be all categories all right so keep it like this and also paste this right here all right so this is the part for the categories if we simply copy this right now and if we go at the bottom and if we simply go ahead php and echo out all categories um all right so if we grab count categories right here all right so there we go this is the part for the categories uh we're gonna move to the next part right here we have which is the admins um all right so if we go right here this will be admins um so if we copy this part and paste it right here and also right here right here 
and right here and also right here that was a big a i guess that i do not need to like to explain what i'm doing right now we're just doing a simple query and we're trying to count something we're executing the query and then we're doing the fetch all right so if we go down to the bottom and if i go php echo and all admins and if i grab count underscore admins right here all right so great um so the last thing that we have is possibly the replies so if we go replies right here copy this part paste it right here right here right here and right here all right so here we go all right so if we copy this part all right so if we go down here and go php echo all replies right here so we grab count replies and save all right so refresh all right so there we go our number of categories is five and the number of admins is two and the number of replies is basically four so if we go to replies all right so we actually got four and if we go to categories all right we got five and of course if we go to admins we got only two so yeah everything is being bold uh pulled dynamically so yeah this is awesome in the next uh in the next couple of videos we're gonna go ahead and work on uh those uh, three last sections that we have all right so now let's go ahead and work with the categories right over here we click on this so we're going to an unknown page because we have to um, modify uh, the link right over here all right so we want to go ahead and work with this right now so if we go uh, to layouts and if we go to header.php all right so if we go down here and if we grab this part um, and if we paste it right here categories dash admins show dash categories and right here we're gonna go ahead all right so and we're gonna change this to php so if we actually go um yeah let's simply save this first if we go right here we're gonna go show dash categories dot html we go ahead to this part right here we go php all right so there we go we remove this part all right so there we go um if we go ahead right here and we want to copy and paste those we're going to copy the header and we're going to go down at the bottom remove this part and as always we're going to go ahead and do the footer so save this whole thing um if we refresh if we refresh right now all right so this should go to a php page if we click on it so there we go this is now dynamically this uh, of course this you know this whole thing is being still being static but you know where the the header right over here you know is being grabbed dynamically not because now we have um the admin name through the session all right so we're gonna go ahead first and display the categories right here um so this should be pretty simple if we go to admins.php and we can simply copy this whole part all right so if we go up here and paste this in all right so there we go um so this will be categories copy this part paste it right here and right here and right here all right so this will be all categories all right so all of this is fine so let's copy this part um and simply go down here and let's delete those two two r's all right so if we simply go ahead and you know remove those and you want to go down here and you want to go for each right here all categories as category all right so great let's copy this part 
um all right then go right here so if we echo out this as an id and we can copy this and this will be the name so these are the update uh, and the delete category pages which are right over here um all right so i want to actually just keep it update not update category all right and this also is going to be delete um all right and this is going to be delete with a small letter um all right so yeah i would say for now let's just go ahead and end this up and for each or we can actually just pass in the id real quick so if we go right here and go php echo category right here and let's pass in the id copy this part go down there change this to php and simply go ahead and um, add an equal sign right here don't forget it or this will trigger an error so yeah that will be all just save right away let's go ahead and refresh this all right so there we go if we hover over this right here it's going to give us a, a dynamic number for the id if you look uh, down at the bottom right here at uh, the bottom uh, left for uh in this in your you know in your screen all right so yeah as you can see we're getting also right here and uh in the delete and of course it's in the update and the name here is being pulled dynamically and also uh the ids so this will be all yeah uh in the next video we're gonna go ahead and work with the rest of the categories all right so it's time now to go ahead and take care of the create categories right over here so this shouldn't be too hard we're only gonna insert um we go to categories right here we're only gonna insert just one column which is the name because everything else is gonna be uh, like processed dynamically by the database uh, as we set it all right so yeah let's go ahead and go uh, right over here if we go to show dash categories we can close this um so you're gonna find this link which is create dash category.html i want to go right here and go php echo um admin url and go slash category right over here so this will be um if we simply rename this we copy this right here and paste this in so if we go to slash dash category i create that dash category and this will right here be php all right so yeah this is simply the right link right now all right so i want to go ahead also and rename this so we can simply work with it um all right so i forgot the dot before the php this is why all right so there we go um so again let's go ahead and you know you know the drill just remove this whole part and if we go um up there and just grab this right here we can also paste this in all right so and we can go down at the bottom and we can simply paste this so this will allow us to grab the folder dot php so save this whole thing all right so if we refresh this this will now should go to all right so it's still being it's will still go to an html page and that means that we did not save something as you can see we did not save this part right here so save refresh all right so there we go if we click on this so we can only insert the name which is what we need actually all right so yeah if we close this now we can work with this part um and if we go to create dash admins right here we can simply grab this whole part all right so there we go um so this is the part that's going to like uh protect our own page from a uh, decision from you know for somebody who's simply logged out and after this we're gonna go ahead and check for a form submission and we're only gonna check for one 
uh, for one column and one column only. So yeah, here we go. Um, let's remove the two here, and we're only gonna grab the name right here. So insert into categories right here. So if we remove this part, so this will simply just be names, um, and right here it will also be names. So remove those right here. So this will also be name and name, and remove those two also and we can go right here to show dash categories.php after we simply insert all right so let's now go ahead and take care of uh, the form so the form method is post and the action is simply show dash categories.php all right and we're not going to upload any file or any image so remove this part and the input right here the name is name so great you know and the button right here type is submit and the name is submit so this is also great so i would say that everything here looks fine to me so save let's now go ahead and refresh all right so if we try to type on a, you know a name for a category so what do you think that we should write um i would say that you know we can write in el which you know which is a short for artificial intelligence so if we click on create so yeah it's being it's going back once again to the index page or to show dash categories.php it's not showing up as a new data so let's see if it's if it got inserted or not so if we click on browse so it did not get inserted so we possibly did something wrong so insert into categories the value uh, we're going to insert the name and the value is name right here so and the insert execute so this is grabbing this right now um let's see huh. so what's going on exactly repair insert into categories and the name and the form right here and that showed that no, it's not show dash categories, it's actually create dash categories right here, which is this page. All right, so we I got this wrong. So if we go right here and let's try to go once again. And if we go A L, we click on create. All right, so create dash categories dot PHP. We yeah, create just create dash category. All right. So sorry about that. Save. Let's simply go ahead and refresh this once again. Um, so again, EL, click on create. All right, so there we go. Now it's it's grabbing this right over here. So that means it's actually inside our own table. If we just refresh, as you can see right here, this is now being pulled dynamically. So yeah, this will be all. And I'll see you on the next. So in the last video we went ahead and we created the categories and I now I think it's time to go ahead and simply update them. Alright, and you know you might not like the update query. Well actually I don't, but we have to do it. Alright, so if we go right over here, so we're done with this part. Um and we're done with this part right here and also this right here. Alright, so let me just go back once again, create dash admins. And there is the part that we need to take care of. So this will be PHP symbole. All right, so there we go. If we actually go to show dash categories dot PHP, we're going to see that we're passing in an ID right over here. All right, so this is going to work dynamically since we already made it. All right, so what we need to do is just go right over here. And now let's work with this uh, dynamically. So we're going to start from starting, uh, you know, from the bottom right here, from the container dash fluid as always. And if we go to this, we're going to go ahead and grab. Let's grab this whole part, actually. And let's paste this right here. Let me copy the part for the header and let me go down at the bottom and simply paste this in. So this will be for. All right, so save um i want to go at the top 
and since we're already passing in an id like i told you we want to go ahead and catch it um right here so we can actually work with it all right so if i go down here and if i go ahead and go s set get right here so we grabbed the id throw the link so this right here is the id and we're gonna go ahead to get right here and we're gonna grab the id all right so yeah let's copy this part or even let's cut it and just paste it down here all right so we're gonna grab only one category at a time so we better call this category right here so connection query select all from categories where id is equal to the id that we're grabbing which is coming from the link which we put it inside the variable right here all right and after this we're simply going to execute all right and after this we're simply going to go ahead and fetch so i want this to be just single category all right um and this right here is going to be category of course and this will only be one row at a time so this will be just fetch all right so after we go ahead and grab the data for this specific uh, category based on the id um i want to go ahead and simply just show it to the user so he can see what he's actually going to update so if we go right here and if we go echo out and if we go um the name right here all right so if we save this let's now go ahead and go to any one of those so i want to go at the last one right here which is the ai we click on update so we're running and define the property name in in line uh 35 so we have an error at 35 and define the property all right so yeah it's actually single category not category so save this this should actually work all right so there we go we got now the ai right here so what we need to do right now is just submit this form after the user goes ahead and ch simply changes this um we want to go ahead and simply submit this form just like we're creating something we're inserting something right except that we're going to use the update method the update query all right so we're gonna go ahead and check for a form submission so we're gonna go ahead um well actually if we go to create dash category we can make use of this code right here for the submit so let me copy this um go down here you know we don't have to write this whole thing from scratch so we're gonna go ahead and check for from submission after this we're gonna check if uh, the input is empty or not and we're going to trigger this and after this we're simply going to go ahead and grab the data uh if this right here is not empty all right if, uh, if the input name if the input with the name name is not empty and after this we're going to go ahead after we grab the data we're going to go ahead and submit so this should be update right here so insert into um well not insert right now we're gonna go ahead and update this so we should write update categories set name it's going to equal the name right over here so let's simply remove this all right where if we actually just leave the part where where we write where and just leave it like this and continue um it's going to update every possible category that we have with the new value right so we need to specify this right here so we want to go where the id is equal to the id that you're grabbing which is up there all right it's going to grab uh, the id for this part um all right so after this we're simply going to execute so again the name uh which is right here we're going to take it and match it with the name that's coming from up here that the user is going to write um and after this we're going to go once again to show dash categories.php that's fine um so let's go ahead once again to the form so the form is what is post and the action right here i'm going to keep it so it will be the same page 
which is update dash category dot php and we do not need this part and we can leave it but it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything both ways um all right so the input right here all right so the type is text and the name is name that's fine and we already like um equate out the value for it and the type is submit for the submit button and the name is submit which is pretty great all right so this whole part now is done so save uh if we simply refresh this once again so rather than ai what do you think that we should write um let's say language languages maybe all right so if we click on update all right so it's not updating because you know yeah it's not updating you know why because we did not pass the id uh if we actually go to the browse right now it's still it's not updating in the table because we did not pass the id right over here with the action all right we need to pass some kind of id so this will equal php echo and we let's pass the id for the current category that's going to grab so it will know which category to actually update all right so save this whole thing refresh uh, let's go once again to this ai so this will be languages am i even writing languages right no all right so if we click on update so there we go languages so this is being updated um successfully if we click on this so there we go languages so yeah it's working and the next video we're going to take care of the part of the delete all right so now to the delete and it should be really really simple um all right so if we go down here again if we go um we remove this and if we go to show dash categories.php we're simply passing in um an id right here for the category all right so we want to go ahead and just create this page inside the same folder so if we simply just paste this in all right so there we go and for the delete you know the good news is we do not even need a form all right the delete is just a simple query so if we go right here and if we simply go at the top and simply copy this code and paste it right here all right so we're going to go after this and we're going to go php um we need to go ahead and check uh, if we do an S set right here for the get because we need to grab the values that we passed in for the ID. All right, so we grab the ID right here. So get, all right, the ID. So this right here, after this, we should go ahead and do the query um so the lead it's going to equal connection right here so this will be right here query and this will be the lead from um categories where id is equal to the id right over there all right so the lead right here after this we're going to go ahead and execute this and after the execute we're simply going to go ahead and hit back with the header function um so if we go right here we can copy this part and we can simply go ahead and paste it right here and yeah this is this is all what we need delete all delete from categories where id is equal to id and execute yeah this is cool let's now simply save this part and if we simply go ahead and refresh uh, let's try to delete the last record that we have so if we simply click on delete all right so there we go now it got deleted and we're going back to the same page and right here if we simply click on browse all right so it got deleted once again from the table which you know is great I as i told you this part is going to be really really simple um and yeah in the next in the next video we're going to start with the topics right here
All right, so since we finished the categories, now it's time to go ahead and work with the topics right here. All right, so let's go ahead and, you know, fix this link. And again, for fixing the links, we need to go back to layouts, header.php. We're going to go ahead and grab uh, this part and we're going to paste it right here. So this will go to topics-admins after the base URL. It's going to go to show-topics and it will go to a PHP page. So we need to go ahead now, topics-admins, and we need to go ahead and rename this. All right, so there we go. We go to this right here. Well, let's save this and close it first. Um, so for this part, again, we're going to go ahead and remove this part. And we're going to go ahead. Um, let's see. We can go to admins and we can go to admins.php and we can copy this whole part, you know, and paste it in. All right, so let's copy this. Let's go at the bottom. Let's simply remove this part. Um, so we will name this footer.php. All right, so yeah. Um, so I want to go ahead and uh, the comment. Uh, comment this for now and save let's now go ahead and refresh this uh, let's click on this so there we go everything's fine for the topics show dot show topics dot php um so all that we need to do now is just do the query and loop through and you know that will be all all right so the comment this back so again this will check for uh the session right here all right and after this we're gonna go ahead and grab every topic that we have so for this, we should go ahead and write in topics. All right. So after this, we're going to execute. And after this, um, yeah, we should also name this. So it will be topics. This is topics. And this is also topics right here. And this one right here is all topics. All right. So if we simply go ahead and copy this. Um, all right. So we need to, we need to remove two, uh, the two. Uh, TRs right here because we do not need them. We only need one so we can loop through it. So if we go right here, PHP for each. All topics as topic right here. All right, so all that we need to do is just go ahead, copy topic right here, and we're going to go php echo topic and we're gonna grab the id all right so great if we copy this and go right here so this is possibly the title and this right here is um is the category so we're gonna go ahead category All right, so if we simply paste this also, we're going to go ahead for this one. If we go and look at the topics table. All right, so we're going to grab the username from it. So this right here should be user underscore name. All right, so and this is actually uh, a page for deleting uh, um, for deleting uh, the post or the topic. So I want to call this um, PHP. So we are going to actually call this delete topic dot php and we're going to pass in the id and we're going to pass in um the id right here dynamically all right so after this we only have to end and for each all right so great let's save this and we should have all the topics right here all right so there we go topic one Topic two, topic three, our zero topic, clouds and hosting posts. All right. Uh, and here is also the user who wrote this, uh, who wrote uh, these uh, categories. Uh, sorry, who wrote these topics. And here is also the category. All right. And if we hover over those, you can see that we're getting the ID dynamically and we're going to a delete topic page. All right. So, yeah, I would say that this is all. And I'll see you on the next video. All right, so now I guess it's time to go ahead simply and um, uh, delete the topics right here. So again, this should be pretty similar to the deletes that we did. So we're going to go ahead and work with this right away. 
uh, we should go ahead simply and copy the name for this and create a new file inside the same folder all right so there we go and if we go um let's see let's see what we have right here if we go to categories and if we go to delete dash category right here should grab this whole thing let's close this and let's paste it right here all right so again i want to copy this part that's related to the session because i don't want anybody to try to access this page all right if he's not logged in um all right and we did not actually add it at the delete dash category as we're seeing right here so we should go ahead and paste this in save let's close this and now we're gonna work with the topics um all right so we're gonna get the id right here we're passing the id dynamically as you're seeing right over here um so after we get it we're gonna put it inside a variable and then we're gonna create the lead query so the lead from this will be topics right here where the id is equal to the id um all right and right over here delete execute all right so for the header we're going to go back once again uh to show dash topics dot php yeah this actually this is all this is all that we need so save this let's go ahead right over here and simply refresh all right so if we click on this all right so now it's gone uh the topic with the id at 12 now is gone so if we simply try to refresh it so as you can see right here it's totally gone so yeah this is all probably we will do some margin to um the title right here topics um so if we just simply close this and if we go at the top if we go right here margin top four so if we refresh this so there we go right over here yeah if you want to simply uh, create uh, the update right over here, just go ahead and create it by yourself. I already taught you how to do the, to, how to do the update in the categories uh, section right over here. All right, and if you're also gonna want to create, um, if you want to create the topics, you know, inside the admin, just go ahead again and do uh, create a topic right over here. You just grab this link and paste it right here and. Uh, work your way through creating or, insert, or inserting the topics i already did all of this in this course i don't want to make this you know this course uh too big uh you know uh, out of nothing all right so yeah i'm not gonna repeat myself all over again i already taught you this stuff all right so this will be all uh for the topics and in the next video we're gonna move to the replies right here all right so now to the replies and this shouldn't take too much work um all right so if we click on it again we should go and change this at um at the header so if we go to admin dash panel if we go to layouts and if we go to header right here let's copy this part paste it right here um and we need to change this so it will actually be php all right so replies uh, replies dash admins right here um if we simply rename this so it will so it will be php all right so again i forgot the dot so there we go if we go ahead to this right here and let's remove this part all right so there we go um we can go it's pretty similar to the topics so if we go to show dash topics right here we copy this part um so let's go ahead and paste it so again we're grabbing everything the config the header and we're doing the session validation all right and right here we're gonna go ahead and select from replies um all right so this will be replies right here and right here and right here and right here all right so yeah there we go so after this we're gonna go ahead and simply um paste the data or loop through it and that will be all all right so if we simply remove those right here let's go at the top of the tr and let's go php for each all replies as replies right here 
or simply as reply. So if we just go ahead, copy this part. If we go right here, PHP echo reply, and there is the ID. If we copy this part, so example reply, we simply go ahead and type in reply right here. And this is simply the image. So I want to go, um, this is actually the image. Is it the image for the user? If we go ahead right over here. Uh, we go to replies. Yeah, it's actually the user image right over here. I don't think it doesn't matter that much, to be honest. The user image, since we're since we're already gonna pick out uh, the username, so let's actually get rid of it. You know. So if we go right here, copy this part, paste this right here. So this should be the user underscore name all right so this button right here it should go to this should go to this certain topic that has um uh, you know it should go to this the topic that's related to this reply all right so we already have the topic id so basically this is going to be really really simple all what we need to do is just um let's see we're gonna grab this link right here and we're gonna go ahead and paste it in and we should simply go to uh, slash topics right here and we're gonna go to topic.php and we're simply gonna send in the id so php reply and we're gonna send the topic underscore id was it topic underscore id yeah it's right here all right so yeah so there we go and after this we have only one thing to do and that is the part for uh the delete right here so this will be dot php and then we're gonna send in the id and let's paste this in this should be an id right here uh all right so simply right here let's go and for each All right, so there we go. Um, yeah, I would say that this part now is done. So save this whole thing. Let's go ahead and go back to this. Let's refresh. We click on replies. All right, so there we go. We got our own our replies right now. We got the username for every guy who wrote a, a reply. So great. If we simply go ahead. Huh. Did we echo out this thing right here? Yeah, we did not echo this out. So this is why it was not showing up. So echo also this out. So save. Let's now go ahead and refresh. All right. So if we hover over this, it's going to the topics slash topic dot php, and you know it's actually um it's the the idea is being uh print it dynamically so if we go to this right here we're gonna go to this topic right over here and as you can see this is an updated reply um let's see if we try to go to this we should see this completely initiated out of the all right so something is wrong with this part right here all right so should go we should go to this later and try to fix it but you know flash topics flash topic dot php if we go yeah it's gonna go to topics and it's gonna go to topic dot php and we're sending in the id i don't know where the problem is there were no problems at this one so let me close this right over here let me try to access another one so this is an update reply so let me try to access this all right so there we go this is an updated reply let me try to access another one which is um the reply right here this is a reply by me at one of my posts 
So if we try to access this, you know, once again, them treat property username. All right, so we should go ahead and fix this. Um, but it's actually going to the right topic right over here. So this is working perfectly for the links. And, you know, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and, you know, take care of take care of the part of the delete right over here. here. All right, so this will be all, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so let's take care of deleting the replies. So as you can see, we're getting uh, the ID dynamically, and we're going to the delete-replies.php. All right, so here we go. Um, we simply go ahead to this once again replies dash admins and let's go ahead and create this page all right so yeah if we go new uh new folder we should name this so it will be dot php all right so there we go uh let's go to categories right here and let's go to this part um uh, let's grab this whole thing and let's simply paste it down here so we're getting the header the config we're checking for the session and we're grabbing the id and this will go and delete from replies where the id is equal to the id right here and this will execute and we should this should go back to um show dash replies dot php right here all right so save uh close this part right here all right so i would say that everything here looks cool this shouldn't take a minute so if we refresh this um if we try to delete this one right here all right so there we go now it's gone um if we try click on browse so the reply now is gone so it's grabbing this by the id you know and it's being deleted successfully and we should add some margin to this part right here for the for the design you know uh, we should go to the table and we should go mt-4 so if we go ahead and refresh, so there we go, right over here. So yeah, this is all for the replies. I know the part with for the replies and for the topics was was pretty simple, you know. But you can edit it. You can edit this as you want, or you can add to it uh, whatever or however that you want, you know. Yeah, and this will be all.